what is up it's your boy babyface back at it again with the children's card game and the harmonica for zane how you doing zane but before all of that let's this is what is this this is they are billions got them how's your morning going same old same old wake up i drink the water and like a child it tosses it out and demands more this is ultra kill god i've been really wanting to play this game recently i've been really wanting to play ultra kill but i refuse to touch it until it's done until it's fully finished i'm not going to play this game but man do i want to i want to just like dick around in the cyber grind so much Sept engine, and yet you play Yu-Gi-Oh now. Yeah, but that's like it's it's Yu-Gi-Oh. It, it, leave me alone, dude. I'm rusty as hell at Ultra Kill. I know that I'm gonna be suffering from the same thing. Climbing TV show story rich bullet time. Bullet time. Wait, what? Wait, is this like Wipeout or something? No. Okay, we don't have Wipeout in here. Good. Story rich though. TV show. Is this like Saints Row 3? No. Cover system, male and tag, male pro tag, moral decisions. Alright, so clearly this is. What do you mean? What do you mean TV show? That's. That's the one really throwing me off. Um. Infamous? Moving platforms, fractured reality, real-time combat, time manipulation. Hmm? Oh, wait, unless it's like a thing that was like a real tie, a real TV show. What's up, dog the dog? What's up, Moose? Too easy? Mm -mm. Bet later strong? What? What? What did I do? What did I say? Rev up those fries because I sure am hungry for some terrible card games. Good, because you're going to get plenty of that. Didn't get this one? Oh no. Real time combat, time manipulation, bullet time, TV show, and climbing. What has climbing? Is this like Dead or Alive Extreme? That's not in here. How would you guys feel if I were to play Dead or Alive on stream again? You said to leave you alone. This is where the chat should leave. Oh, that's what you mean. Yu-Gi-Oh today? Yes. Yes, unfortunately. I did ping in the Discord, right? I remembered to do that. Guys, tell me I remember to do that. I'm afraid to open my Discord because I feel like maybe... I'm afraid to pull up my... I, I mean, I could just do this. I did remember to ping you guys. All right, good. You remembered to do that, right? Used to really like Shadowverse, and I learned that game is getting a sequel. I also learned that there that in the time I haven't played the game, the meta has morphed into some degen stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh, where the game is who can pull off an OTK from a hand first. <laughs> I don't care you play bad games anyway. Tenjin, I want to know something, by the way. After that session of Guilty Gear, how were you feeling? Because I know that Jacko is like a really annoying character to fight, and I have this really bad habit of feeling like I piss people off every time I fight them in a fighting game, but that one felt especially bad just because Jacko plays the way that she does. That one, I'm like, this guy's blood is boiling, and I have made him the angriest man on the planet. Normal, it didn't piss me off? Okay, good. Good. Then it's not that bad. Moving platforms, fractured reality. Is this, like, a rift apart? Ratchet and Clank? 
No. Swinging platforms, hand-to-hand -hand combat, temporal anomalies, in-engine cinematic. But it's a TV show. With bullet time. You remember to do that? The, I already read that. The game is no longer about fighting for board dominance because every single creature has removal and haste on it. So there's no point in jockeying for board just on damage from hand. Once again, Magic the Gathering is a superior card game, and I say that unironically. Hell, Hearthstone probably has a more enjoyable meta right now. Wow. You're killing me, boss? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know the answer? And if you do, don't type it in chat. If you want a long one, Jacko IMO is in fact a baby character since there are no counterpokes I can do to punish you setting up houses. You had nothing to do with it. Game does make me annoyed. Okay. I'm glad to know that the game makes you just as annoyed as it does me. But I think there's just no counterpokes that Eno can do to stop me from setting a house at a max distance far slash. But, um... Other characters can probably stop me, depends on what character. That's what I said. You just said nothing that you could do. I, well, oh, you said. Convinced the matchup is not Eno favored. Yeah, no, okay, there you go. I'm pretty sure you're right about that. I think that is not in Eno's favor at all, especially considering the fact that her dash is the Morgan dash. So I can just 6 H and then get a counter hit if you're far enough away. And then. If you do stroke the big tree, then I uh, maybe I'm boned, but if I do something low, then you're boned. All shoutouts to Jacko 6H also hitting stroke. That's only if you're close. That's only if you're close because it has a like front hitbox the first hit. Alright, this is clearly guilty gear. to shooter corporate conspiracy live action fake tv show what destructible environment red faction save the world over the shoulder experiment gone wrong motion capture animation surprising character switches character models based on actual people what is this Detroit Become Human? That's not a shooter. What is this? What? What games do I know of that have destructible environments? Red Faction, Battlefield... The Finals. This Battlefield Bad Company or something? Who? The heck is Quantum Break? I saw this game maybe once. Uh, it's very clearly going to be this. Damn. It's only single player. Because I am very original. Okay, it's one of these. One of these, I mean. Oh, I love doing Stroke the Big Tree YRC, Stroke the Big Tree YRC three times in a row. Hit me during the slide, I can tell you in Strive, I counter hit you. That's why her 6C sucks in that game. I like it a lot more in, um, in what's it called? In Exert. It sucks that I enjoy playing Jacko in Exert, but I don't like Exert. I was under the impression that Stroke the Big Tree is supposed to be better in Exert. Everything, almost all of the characters are better in Exert. What's up, Munchin' Lex? 
almost all of the characters are better in Exert, but the that doesn't mean that you can't still be stuffed by some stuff. Like, I think Stroke the Big Tree is longer, but any other character that has a move that hits low enough, if you mistimed that move, then you're going to get hit, and we're probably going to either trade or I win. Hint, the answer is a game that came out sometime between the year of Zero and 20, 2024. Okay, thank you. So with a sequel coming out this year, people are hoping that Shadowverse 2 can undo all the insane power creep and get back to being an actual card game rather than who can play Solitaire the best. <laughs> Think this sequel starting from Zero is the correct move. From what I've seen, the original game is unsalvageable. There's too many absurd cards. Just, just do what Yu-Gi-Oh did and make a ban list. And then make that infinite. Just ban everything. Let's assume this is a first person game. Let's say it's Ghost Runner 1. It's not Ghost Runner 1. It's not even first per- what? Well, that's not the only one. So then, maybe it's near. Mata Mata. 2017. The hell you mean it's not third person side it's first person something else ah okay it's probably first and third person but it's not an rpg or a hack and slash is there a fallout game that came out in 2020 or in 2017 it's not a bethesda game hang on it's not first and third person what? What? Puzzle. Shooter Puzzle 2017. In the first person. Splitgate? Splitgate is not in here. Or maybe it's Slipgate? It's not Slipgate. Also, her 6H should not hit Stroke the Big Tree. There is no world an anti-air button should hit a low-profile move. It's got two hitboxes, dude! It hit, like, her entire... Her bringing the ball and chain up from where it is on the floor is a hitbox, and then throwing it across the screen is a different hitbox. You're getting hit by Jacko pulling the ball and chain up. You, it works. It makes sense. Jacko swings up. What do you mean low enough? I mean low enough. It hits low enough. Game already did what I went back to my old... The game already did that. I went back to my old decks and they were missing cards that got banned. <laughs> well, shoot. Only thing you annoyed me with is bursting on first hit. I'm so amazed on how you have more faith in me doing a 5... A 5F... Five 5F five air dash link confirm after three hits. You have more faith in me than doing... Than I do in myself. Of course, me doing three hits is worth bursting, even though the chances are you'll just recover and go back to neutral. Uh, I'm a chip player at heart. I don't know when to burst. I just get hit and then panic. Part of the reason that I do that is because, like... You're not gonna- I know that you're not gonna play the game the same way as Katatsu, where Katatsu will hit me and then do what he needs to do to bait the burst because it's really freaking small in Guilty Gear. I don't understand why it's so small. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. And then, um... On top of that, I'm like, if I don't use this now, then you're gonna get, like, an entire corner combo or something, probably. Maybe not. If, if it's not that, then, like... You're still going to make it really hard for me to set up houses in the near future. So I'm going to do this and then set up a house or two and then watch what you do after. Uh, what other views can you use if not first and third person? Unless it's adding another one. 
If it's not first, third, and virtual reality, then it has to be first, third, and something else. But what? Isometric? But what puzzle game has all of these put together? I know it's not this, but I guess I want some more information. Oh, hey, this is Danganronpa. I only now realize. Action, action. The only ones that overlap out of all of these are action. There's a bit of sci-fi. And then there's a bit of fantasy. So those are a big maybe. PC, Switch. It's not Valve. Did Capcom ever release a puzzle game? No, they didn't. I have an online friend I met through the Shadowverse forums. We had a good time reminiscing about the good old days of that game. Going through my old, now completely unviable decks. We're both exciting. We're both excited for the new game coming out. Also, the new game looks like it's going to have an Arxis lobby system with the small player avatars and card game tables instead of arcade caps. Nice! That's one of the things that I wish came back, like, in Exerd. Exerd has, like, the best lobby system I've ever experienced. You got the small avatars, you got emotes that you can do, you got hecking, uh... You got the ability to say, hey... Don't play any more matches. I'm closing the room so you don't have to feel like an ass every time you close the room while people are playing. Like, huh, why, why haven't we done this again? Why haven't we gotten another lobby system like that of Exerd again? Makes me so sad. I'm sure how I feel about that. Card games get people super heated. There's going to be a lot of salt in that lobby chat. That's the best part. So let me get a combo, let me try to get my mid-screen confirm. It doesn't do that much damage and it's hard to land. I know you bursting made sense, but the amount of time you denied me the attempt is so big, I felt like I would have gotten it even once. No. No, I need to set up my houses. I need them right now. I don't want you to push me a corner. I don't want you to make me take a little bit of damage. I don't want X or Y to happen. I just want houses so that the minions can play the game for me. That stun was justified on you, never mind, bruh. Should have instant killed me. I probably wouldn't have mashed out of it in time. That's what I was doing. I forgot the input. Bruh. FPS shooter. FPS shooter puzzle game. Is this like, I don't know, Talos Principle 2? No, it can't be 2. It's not isometric. So if it's first, third, it's not VR, unless there's more than just VR. It's not side view. Wait, okay, hold on. Then what is this? It's first person and then what kind of view? Is it just first person and VR? Brink, perhaps? Okay, good one. I... Okay, I... You know what? That's not in here. That's not in here. Yeah, that's not in here. <sighs> okay. You know... The one day in which I don't guess a single Capcom game is when it's a Capcom game. Whatever. 
It's fun. I don't care. Fake gamer. Okay, dude. Whatever. Aye, aye, aye. Let's start up some Yu-Gi-Oh! The children's card game itself. Stopping the music. That button. That's the wrong... Stop that. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. There we go. Chilling in the Kashtira Labyrinth main. Chilling in the Kashtira and Labyrinth mains. I hate Labyrinth so much. Dude. Labyrinth needs to be freaking removed from the game. I just want to play the damn game. But no, you just banish my entire damn deck every time. Uh, I feel like, honestly, if I could do consistent combos, I'd probably win a couple more games. Also, my point stands, buffering the game is horrible. I wasn't having any issues buffering anything, but then again, I'm not a super technical character, so I don't have to deal with any of that. Well, at least the, the, the way I play Jacko ends up not being very technical most of the time. I was getting a little bit annoyed when I would do something like pop out the organ and then not get the input I did after that and then I would just be like, oh, okay, I, I guess I'll die. Dare you Strunch to boot up Exert for five minutes and do the confirm. It's like four buttons if you get it. It's a skill issue on my end. If you don't, won't get it. The buffer is ass. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do it. What, you don't like their turn? You don't like how their turn is their turn, and then your turn is just their main phase four? Yeah, no, I can't say that's very fun, no. I could pick Jacko, copy you, and have no problem, too. So he thinks. But! Alright, let's see if I can pull off the combo. I called out your execution. I, I've already been telling you. What the hell is this hand, dude? How, I've been getting like the crappiest possible hands that I could in the recent days. All of this to get Ash blossomed. Yeah, do it, do it, please. Prevent me from playing the game. Woo! Yeah! Let's go. Go to next. Go to next. Go to next. Go to freaking next. <laughs> Ooh. That's cool, dude. What is this? I don't know what that does, but I don't care. I'm going to activate this. When this card is activated, add one Eister the Invoker from your deck to your hand. Activation of your cards and effects that include an effect. A fusion summons a fusion monster. Alright, you know what? We got nothing to worry about. As long as he doesn't read Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, he loses. I get to stall, or at least as long as he, as long as he doesn't read it and doesn't have a way to remove it, then... Uh... <laughs> I win. What's up, Psionic? Come on, Pot of Greed, that card is banned. Anyway, see my Belial, I learn Crouch Confirms and Setups. Ew. Don't mind joining you on Yu-Gi-Oh! after my food is done. I finished my Galaxy deck yesterday, so I've been wanting to test it. Okay. Cool. I'm down the try. What is this? You better fuse a level 6 or higher monster. Do it. 
do it and I'm going to laugh. You're freaking dumb. Get a load of this guy. He don't read. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Play Pot of Greed, allowing me to draw three additional cards from my deck. Is Excellent Trust how bad is that card bricked for you? Hard enough, dude. It's really annoying. I draw... I only run two, and I've kind of... semi-consistently been drawing this. It's pretty annoying. Come forth, blue eyes, white dragon. I don't think this guy gets it. He don't get it. He don't get it, and he's stunned. Look at him. Sitting there. Ashra Strike. So now that would be cool. Except for the fact that... I have... Frickin' nothing to fuse it with. I have no way to Xyz Summon. Blue, blue eyes brick dragon. <laughs> You're a third rate duelist with a fourth rate cock, huh? Draw two cards, discard one. That's not cool. What does this thing do? Blazing Hysteria the Virtuous. Confusion summon one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as material. During the end phase, if a fusion monster was sent to your graveyard this turn, you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand. But you can only use each effect of Blazing car car Carcass the Virtuous once per turn. Hmm. Okay, so the funny part about this is you still don't have lethal, and it seems as though you still don't have an answer to the Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. I really hope you do something like fuse that into another level 6 or higher. I'm going to laugh my ass off if you do. Please. Please fuse it. I'm begging you. Branded Fusion. What does this do? You Wait, whoa! Why is this limited? Hold on, what does this do? Fallen of Albed... Fuse, fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albed as a material from your extra deck using two monsters from your hand, deck, or field as fusion material. Cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters the turn you activate this card. You can only activate one per turn. What, what, are the fusions from this, like, super good? I feel like he's sifting through his extra deck. No, what is this? Fusion summon one level eight or higher. Yeah, no, you don't get to use whatever it is that you're coming. Well? <laughs> oh, congratulations, it's freaking nothing. Depending upon what I draw next, this is still salvageable. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh. Why, man? Okay. Hold on. I can't use that in the same turn, can I? If your opponent's LP are at least 2k higher than yours, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one's Exo spell trap. So I can't do that this turn. This wouldn't be that bad, because the idea would be bring back Ashura Strike, 
Zexel and Trust, pull in Zexel Construction, take out Zexel Force, rank up Magic Zexel Force, and then get one of my other Zexel cards, and then uh, or ZW, what is it? ZW Ascended Sage, I think. And then I could go into my whole combo from there, but unfortunately, that's not an option because Zexel and Trust can't do both of its effects in one turn. So, here we are sitting with a Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, him with two 2,000 attack monsters just about, and then me with my deck in my hand. So, Oka, no shot this man's on Yugers. I am. I am. This guy, I really hope you do the same thing you've been doing. I hope you fuse both of these level four and five monsters into a monster that you cannot use. I really hope you still can't read. Rip level eight. You still can't read. Good to see. Unless that thing doesn't get affected by cards like Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, you have done nothing. You can send one fusion monster from your graveyard to the... Is that enough to kill me? That's enough to kill me. No, it's not. I'm living with 100 life points. Bro, he's like, why mirror jade effect no work? <laughs> Nobody runs this card, right? Grave of the Super Ancient Organism? This thing sucks, right? It's really funny when I'm fighting somebody and they're just like, wait, shoot, what do I do now? <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, some, and some do actually? Okay, good to hear. Did you just say Grave of the Super Ancient Orgasm? Maybe. Probably said it by accident, I don't really care. Same thing. That's usable. Now you have lethal, and now I don't want to play anymore. When are we getting sound redeems, wacko? Never. That's a lie, I've been thinking about it, but I just don't know what I would want to add, or why, or when. Dude, you have lethal, just hit me. What do you think I have in my hand? Like a battle fader? Cool. What? Re Hyper. Each player can only attempt to activate one monster effect per turn. Each player can only attack with one monster during each battle phase. Oh, you're stupid. Got it. Why did you do this to yourself? Unless you have something that cranks up that damage by about 1,800, I get another turn. No, not 800, not 1,800. You, it's not only that one that can attack. It's just... Unless you can crank this one up by about 600 points, then... Man, this is, this is messed up that I've actually, like, bricked this hard. How did I do this? I hate you, Yu-Gi-Oh. Utopia decks got me bricked up constantly. I hate it. He bricks until he plays me, and suddenly he has an entire hand of interruptions. <laughs> Good one. Now it's my turn. Can I get something to play the game, please, though? Something to play the game. That would be fun. Playing the game? That's usable. Wait, only one monster effect per turn? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Yeah. Alright. Summon you. 
Need to go into Draco? I mean, I can. If you have, like, an infinite impermanence or something... You come out. Special summon. Face up defense. Uh, I mean, I have my double. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have my double or nothing. I actually cannot summon that. If I summon that, then I screw myself. I can go for number 39, Utopia. I have to go for number 39, Utopia. Face-up attack. Utopia Rising doesn't get me anything. And then ZW Ascended Sage. Or ZW Topic Sage. ZS Topic Sage doesn't do anything. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? You're going to make your board worse? You are actively deciding to make your board worse. Congrats! You have less playable cards! Good one! My god, dude. He's not pretending. I don't think he is pretending. Oh, okay. I can double or nothing, but that's not gonna get... It's just not gonna kill him. I can instead hyper rank... Or rank up Magic's Exile Force. Yeah, rank up Magic's Exile Force. You. And then I can go into... Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. I might be able to... I don't know if this is going to be lethal. Uh... Honest to God, I'm not convinced that he can remove this, so I'm going to put Ashura Strike at the top. Activate effect. Draw Ashura Strike. And then with you, activate effect. Wait, I can't cut, I can't. Huh. Ah, wait. Shoot, I might need to just put that into my hand. Get rid of this Ashura Strike. It has to be from either the extra deck or the- Oh, we lost. Unless... Unless... This is gonna be the dumbest thing I've ever done if this works. Hold on. SZW... Equip this card from your hand to that target. When equipped, the monster destroys its opponent's monster by battle, sends it to the graveyard. You can target one ZW monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. I can't... Oh, damn. Shoot. I wouldn't be able to attach it. Yep, can't activate that. <sighs> Damn! I misplayed just slightly, but it's okay. Get this thing out of here. Face on monster controls is destroyed by battle leaves a field because of... Because of an opponent's card effect, while the card is in your graveyard, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls. Special summon this card, and if you do, negate the targeted monster's effects until the end of this turn. Shoot. Alright. Well, it doesn't really matter. I... Unless you have an answer to a 5,500 attack monster, none of that matters. It don't matter, none of this matters. I might as well equip Ashura Strike. I would have been able to kill the hell out of him if, like... <laughs> uh. 
if I had done, if I just didn't put this into my hand using rank up magic Zexal Force, then I could have attacked all of his board and then killed him with the the bleed over. But unfortunately, so what's your answer? Because you have an entire board, but this ain't gonna remove. This ain't gonna remove, and these are unusable. Unless you have an answer to this, you lose. Sir, I do not think you were winning. I mean, I think you just passed because that continuous trap is dead ass carrying you. He might actually lose from it because you have a 6k beat stick. Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Um, I don't care about that. Or at least not at the moment. Play this card is in your graveyard. Target one effect monster special summon negate targets effects. Okay. Yeah. I can't stop you from doing that. Bro, typical brain dead player can't out one trap card. <laughs> no! What are you doing? No, stop. Dude, stop. Oh, it's over. Now I have to read. Now I have to read. <laughs> Must first be fusion summon. This card is special summon target one face of a monster in the field, negate its effects. This card is sent to the graveyard consent. I don't care about that. Must first be fusion summon, send one shuttle. Start of the damage step. If this card battles a special summon monster, destroy that monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one shuttle. Oh, this is over. This is freaking done. Um, let's try this. Let's stop you. I don't know if that's the right move, but we'll find out. So rip grave. This thing can still do something, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Nay, it's Jover chat. He lost. Maybe not. No! <laughs> it's over. It's not fair. I should have won. I should have won. If only I didn't put Ashura Strike into my frickin' hand, ah! Uh, or if... <laughs> if I had remembered that I could have drawn a card, then the other thing I could have done was instead, I could have... I could have, instead of summoning Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray, summoned Ultimate Draconic, put on the Ashura Strike, and then used its ability to put something else on, and then done the same thing. <laughs> this is part of the reason why I kind of like Draconic Utopia Ray more than Leo Utopia Ray. What the heck is this thing? How do I get it? I like it. No, we lost. He drew the one card out. <laughs> oh, take out Zexal and Trust. I don't know how much that one is actually helping. Usually it's better. Okay, this is good. Oh, frick me, dude. I hate this. I have one of these. Why does it end up in my hand so consistently? N nice face downs? <sighs> Alright, I got an idea. Special summon, face up defense. Then it goes to you because you have four face nouns. Normal summon, Astrotopia. What is this? During your opponent's main phase, pay half fusion. Sum what is this? Dinomorphia Frenzy. Hey, remember when it was my turn? Yeah, me neither. Even worse, Dino. What's happening now? Loses attack equal to your life points. You can only use each of the following effects of Dinomorphia, whatever, once per turn. Main effect, pay half 
your life points, banish one Dinomorphia normal trap from your graveyard. This effect becomes that trap's effect when that card is activated. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Dinomorphia. Okay. I'm going to pretend that this doesn't matter, and then cry when it does. I'm going to put you into the graveyard, and then it's going to go to you because you have three face-down cards. I don't know what trap you got rid of. Nice Ash Blossom, dude. Good one. Whatever. You think I don't have an out? You think that's all I have? Damn, matchmaking is on point today. Is it? Hey, it's my turn. Can I play the game? I'm glad you stopped that search and not the search in the future. That's the one that actually matters. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters they control that have attack greater than or equal to your life points. Can only use each of the following effects of Dinomorphia, Rex Tem, once per turn. Can pay half your life points. The attack of this all monsters your opponent currently controls become equal to your life points until the end of this turn. This card is destroyed by battle or card effect, and special summon one. Special summon one level six or lower Dinomorphia monster from your graveyard. What? Oh, he DC'd! <laughs> Hold that. That's crazy. Yo, luck of bad connection. <laughs> I'm so good, dude. Imagine, he RQ'd. Realized that he Ash Blossomed the wrong thing, and then he turned his iPad off. Alright. Because I'm tired of getting negated by an entire enemy's board. Let's do this. I'm going first. Please don't brick. Please don't brick. This is... Mediocre. Well, like, like it's usable. I just don't. Why do I run this card? This card kind of sucks. But whatever. Don't ash blossom me, please. Thank God he has no way to stop this. I can finally do this. Finally. Face up defense. ZS ascended. S Which one are you? ZS ascended sage. Face up defense. ZS armed sage. With that, the Z summon number 39, double or nothing. Not double or nothing. Utopia double, you know the one. Activate ability. Activate ability. And then finally, activate ability. Get rid of one Xyz material. The one card has three chains. Double or nothing. Bring in number 99, Utopia Dragnar. Woo! There he is! Pull in Lightning Blade. Pull in Rank Up Magic Zexal Force. Activate ability of Utopia Dragnar. Get rid of both of these Xyz material to then summon Utopia Rising. And with Utopia Rising special ability, pull in Utopia Double from the graveyard in face up defense. Now I use Rank Up Magic Zexal Force to upgrade Utopia Rising to, not that one. Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. I put Tornado Bringer on top of my deck. Then, with that, I use ZW Lightning Blade. I activate its effect and equip it to Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. 
to activate its effect to then equip Tornado Bringer. Lightning Blade. Slip near mail. And then Sylphid Wing. Alongside Fenrir's sword for no particular reason. And next turn opponent Kaiju. I said I'm gonna freaking stop. But that's not all. We also got number F0. Utopic Future Slash to replace Utopia Double because this is just a better card to have on the defense. Can't be destroyed by battle. And now the only card left in my hand is Double or Nothing. If I get Kaijued, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Please do not Kaiju me. I will actually scream. Opponent right now, Resident Sleeper. Good. I hope he concedes because of how much I had to do. You about to get kaiju Stop! It's not funny. Don't joke about this. The golden whatever the hell. Oh no. This entire monologue supposed to sound cool or am I missing something? You're... No. It sounded exactly... What did you just do to me? Why did you... How did you send Utopia Dragnar to the graveyard? Special summon one zombie monster from your hand or deck. I was reading that. Frick Eldliches, I hate him. Yeah, sure. That's all you got? You stupid. Oh wait, right, I forgot. That's how your character works. This card is in your graveyard, can send one spell trap Special summon one zombie. Oh, hey, Raigeki. <laughs> I don't have any space! It's... wait, it's fine. It's fine because I can get rid of Silphid Wing. Can I be destroyed by card effects and only use each effect one... Eldritch Lord, whatever the hell. Uh... But if you control no Eldritch Monsters, you can only special summon Eldritch Monsters with the effect rest of the turn. After this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters. Can banish this card from your graveyard, set one Eldritch Trap. Okay. So, I don't really care about that. Um, activate its effect. So this material gets detached. This gets negated. Unless you have an answer, which is whatever that's going to do. Resolve. Something happens with that. That doesn't affect my monsters, to my knowledge, unless I didn't read. I am a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I tend to do that sometimes. Doom King Bow, whatever the hell. During the standby phase of a face-up card is in a field zone, and this card is in your graveyard. And special summon this card in defense position. Can only use this effect of Doom King whatever once per turn, once per chain. The zombie monster except Doom King whatever activates its effect except during the damage step. Apply one of these effects, but you cannot apply the same effect again this turn. Negate that effect, banish one monster from the field or graveyard. I, I'm going to Raigeki, and then I'm going to regret it later. Oh, it's an Omni Negate, just Raigeki and Wamao? I just needed to make sure. Battle phase. Unfortunately, I cannot kill you. Oh, how I really wish I could. If only I didn't have to... If I didn't draw a Fenrir sword, then, and I drew some other equip, then he would be dead right now. Not very much else to do. I couldn't kill- Don't say anything, chat. It's fine. It doesn't matter. He still lost. He still lost. He has no out. He has no- It's fine. Why do I misplay like this so freaking often, man? I could have freaking killed him with Utopic Future Slash. 
If I had remembered to change him to attack position. <laughs> it's okay. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Congrats, you got rid of ZW Lightning Blade. Okay, I don't care about that trap card. Nice ride, Geki. You can't math. I sure freaking can't. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Spell trap. Okay. Can't. I wish I could click it while it's doing that. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using only zombie monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. The zombie monster is special summoned by card effects. During the damage step, you can target one set card in the spell trap zone. That set card cannot be activated this turn, even if... Oh, hey, it's Eldritch again. And the fact that you have summoned him in attack position means that you have an out for whatever this is. Or you don't care because you're changing it into something else. That's why you're silver. I I was... What's the other one? The circular blue looking one with the wolf on it. I was that two seasons ago. <sighs> what does this do? I really hope you target... Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle with this card... At the end of the damage step, if this card battle the monster, change that monster's attack to zero. Also, if that monster is still face up on the field, special summon one Dark Soul token. With the same level and attack. Okay. I was reading that. Shiranui. This card is special summon. You cannot return. You can return any number of your zombie synchro monsters that are banished or are in the graveyard. Wait, do you not take battle damage from this? I don't understand. Oh, right. Hey, get negated, idiot. <laughs> I told you I didn't need it. Is Yu-Gi-Oh still a thing? Do they still air it? I think so. Man didn't think I had the the freaking ZW Pegasus no Unicorn Spear on deck. Get a load of this guy. Do you see? This is why. So I, I was watching a video of this one dude that was trying to say that um that what's it called? Uh Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray is just better than Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. But if I had used Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray there, I would have lost that duel. Because it's strictly because he had to target Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray that I was able to pull in the ZW Unicorn Spear and then cancel his entire game plan. I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray more than Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. Nerd emoji, screw you dude, you play magic! You're just as bad! I can't say anything to you, Tenjin. You don't play card games, I don't think. I don't know. You played Hearthstone? You're half of a nerd emoji. Damn, Toxic Streamer wins. Can't have that. Time to bring out the Labyrinth mains. No, please, God, no. No. You're very brave for not running Onomato... Onomatopoeia... Pyra? On God? I don't need it. I don't like it. It's dumb and stupid and dumb. I don't like the Gaga Gas, Go Go Goes, Dodo Dos, and what's the last one? I'm gonna. <laughs> Every freaking time! <laughs> Why do I run these? Like they're useful, but then this happens. I always pull them both, or like this and a. maybe a lightning storm? 
Whatever. It's fine. Sup, Violet Bolster? Battle Dent Mage? Who? Play Hearthstone, Gwent, and Shadowverse. Also, I did try Yu-Gi-Oh, but I never finished my deck. Oh. What am I fighting right now? Is this unfun? Someone tell me. Oka, Munchinlax, is this unfun to fight against? Tenyi Spirit Ashuna. Monk of the Tenyi. Sword Soul of Mo Yi. Yeah, you're just dead? What? What do you mean I'm just dead? Why am I just dead? Yup, it's over. Shake hands, walk away. Sword Soul Grandmaster. You got the Sword Soul... What's his name? The big one that's water element, uh, banish cards and then, like, banish everything else. The one, the, my profile picture, actually. I wish we could have tagged dual format for ranked. I need the chaos. What is, what is tag dual? Oh, wait, is that the multiplayer thing that's in the rooms? I never actually tried that. Are you able to have, like, four people play at once? Sword Stole, Sinister Sovereign, ow. Sword Stole, Sinister Sovereign, Quick Sing, Long Yuan. Sword Soul of Taya. It's a four-player duel 2v2. Okay, it's, like, not what you think it is. Uh, it's not like a Pokemon double battle? What is it? It's fun, but chaotic and extremely frustrating. <laughs> oh? It's a four-player 2v2 where each player just fights another, and you get to spectate the other. That's, that's boring. It would be cool if you could, like, interact with the other person's board, save your teammates, you know? Cross the wires. This is in du Master Duel, not normal, actual Tag Duel. Hmm. No! I needed that! I actually needed that on the field. What is this? You see, now, if he had gotten turn one, and if I had gotten turn two, then maybe I would have been able to stop that because I drew my Raigeki and my Harpy's Feather Duster. But no. No. I got turn one. And I got both my Raigeki and my Harpy's Feather Duster and my Zexalyn Trust. And what the hell else did I get? I don't even remember. Should have ashed better. Yeah? <laughs> Sup, Boone? How you doing? And the games is basically two people sharing one board and you play your own decks. Okay. Okay, skill issue to be honest. And I'm going second. Cool. Guess I don't get to play the game. Munch and Lex. Not Munch and Lex. Uh, oh, hey, cool. This would be the perfect hand if I were going paint for turn one. Uh, Moose. Moose. What was the name of the, the guy that just wants to summon the big monster and doesn't really care if he wins or loses? I'm really feeling that right now. I just want to summon my Utopia Dragnar and my Draconic Utopia Ray and and all the rest. That's all I want to do, dude. That's all I want to do. I, I don't even care if you get rid of it. Dark Magician? What is this? Ew. Are you actually a Dark Magician deck? Are you about to Eternal Soul me? Oh, you're gonna... Bestial Ball Drake. That's what some of this card from your hand is. This is a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. Your opponent special summons a Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link monster. Contribute one lighter dark monster, then target one of those special summon monsters. 
banish it, you can only use each effect once per turn. Part of me wants to see if he blows his load too quickly. Hold up. This is only if I Xyz summon. Okay. Yeah, I, I know what's up. When in doubt, Raigeki out. Oh, right, I could have done that. Strongest Dark Magician board. Damn weak F. Strong, he literally has nothing on his board. You right. Max C. Okay. I hope that's not an infinite impermanence like I think it is. Ah. What are you doing this for? Why? Why did he do this? Kill him? I probably can. This negates spells? This negates spells. Alright. This only becomes a real problem if he, uh, what do you call it? This only becomes a real problem if he draws, like, a Ash Blossom in the middle of all this. Which he seems to not have done. Sugoi. <laughs> Nope, I right, Steve, this is your chance to end it this end it turn one. You have to kill him, Steve, because you were about to give him everything. <laughs> <sighs> um If I summon you hold on. Is that lethal? One thousand, you you do nothing. Three thousand five hundred, cancel yourself, six thousand, seven thousand, that's not lethal. Yeah. Oh wait, it doesn't even matter. I wouldn't have been able to hit face with it. Um What am I doing? You And then... Wait, that might have been the wrong decision there. It, it's fine, it's fine. Rank up Magic's Exile Force. What are you doing? What could you possibly have? Target one light or dark monster in either graveyard, banish it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. This is a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. Can I- can you miss the activation timing on this one? I'm really wondering. I use this to do this. Place up defense. You should kill him now? I'm trying! Utopia rising. And then that didn't chain. Oh wait, okay, that's the thing. That thing's gone. <sighs> Activate the effect of Utopia Rising, kill him, I'm trying! What's the worst that could happen, what? This, this card is special summon, you can activate this effect during the end phase of this turn, add one dragon monster. Okay, hold on, infinite impermanence, yeah, no, that only shuts down... I don't want to summon this in the middle. I'm going to anyway, because it doesn't really matter. It's gonna get... It's gonna get got. Infinite Impermanence only shuts down spell, spell cards in their column, right? I'm, I'm fine. It's, it's fine. Uh, if I get bodied by not reading, then... Oh, so be it. Alright, so this is the one time where I would want to summon Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray instead.
Uh, you can come up. You activate its ability. Drop that into the graveyard. Pull you up. You go here. You pull up. Activate this thing's ability. Negate that thing. Resolve. You go here. Activate this thing's ability. You go here. I don't need to do this. Ah, uh, this ain't gonna freaking kill him. Oh wait, no, I know what to do. Um, special summon, utopic, utopic future slash, face up attack position right here. This guy better not have like a battle fader or something. Boom. Um, you you don't you can stay in the graveyard. I can activate this thing's effect. And you get more damage from that. And then I go straight into the battle phase. And then I kill his ass. Hello? Hello? Don't think Dark Magicians run Battle Fader. Why wouldn't they? Strong, you didn't read? What did I not read? What did I not read? What did I not read? Yep, told you like 10 minutes before you doubled. What? Please don't let the double. Please. Bro, he's throwing chat. What did I? What did I miss? You have double or nothing. You hard missed lethal. How? Uh, no, I guess I could have... The only reason I got this was because of... Never ask me a question again if you're going to read my answer. What? What would you... All the other nerds pushed my message up to answer your question. You are a Timmy. You play a Timmy deck that plays a big dumb dino and folds to removal. Okay. What did he just do? He just... All right, tell me why I was only able to attack once. Is it because of something to do with Utopia Double? It shouldn't be, right? Attack becomes double, he cannot attack directly. Transfer some materials, only use this once per turn. Strong to look at chat, what? Reminder that you can't attack directly after using double? I wasn't trying to attack the, in general? Wait, that's, I thought that was specifically for this thing. You had game about 10 minutes ago? No, dude. Basically, you go Utopia double to get double or nothing, then rank into Utopia, then battle dam then battle phase. Attack and activate Utopia effect to cancel its own attack, then activate double or nothing to gain 10k attack and attack once more for free. Okay, I, I get that. That part I get. But like... I didn't know that the, the not attacking directly thing was in general not related to Utopia Dragnar. Wait, but even then, he had a defense position. Okay, cool. What's this? Any battle damage your opponent takes from battles involving this card is doubled. If this card is sent to the graveyard, I can draw one card. I really wish I had played Utopic Future Slash in defense position. Okay, so how would I have had lethal? Because Utopia doesn't deal piercing. I could have used my own ability to cancel my attack and then double Utopia's damage, sure, but that wouldn't have... That wouldn't have... Pierced. Ain't no way you're losing the Dark Magician. I'm losing the Dark Magician. is making me dislike Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh so much, my god, what? Can't be destroyed by battle. 
What? Not gonna attack with this thing that does double damage, double battle damage? Well, why? Could have killed before he got bestial. How? Oh, you mean? Wait, but still. Does double battle damage, not doubles attack. Oh, oh, okay. Whoops. This is fine. This is fine. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, Dark Magic Circle. You can't activate this on my turn. Um... So, what is the play here? Zexal Construction, double or nothing into ZS Arm Ascended Sage. Use that, summon a rank four. Rank four brings back Rising. Rising brings back another card. Um, I need to switch this to defense position, but only after I've already done all that. Yeah, I, I think that's the only play that I have here. Here's hoping that you don't have another infinite impermanence. Eternal soul. I don't care about that. That's uh, Jover. Why is it Jover? It's not Jover. It's fine. Then great, you got another Dark Magician. Big whoop. Zexal Construction. And then I change double or nothing. And then I change that to this guy, this jerk. No, it's Jover times 10. Why? What? Oh, uh, you can't activate that on, okay. Well, that's gone, I guess. Whatever, I don't care. Defense position. Defense position. Um, I need to use Utopia. Yeah, cause, uh, Utopic Sage doesn't get me anything. Face up attack. I have no double or nothing, so I will not use it. Utopia! Boom. Activate ability. Kill, I can definitely try. Chain. Utopia Rising. Resolve. Utopia Rising. Face up defense. Utopia. Um, what am I pulling in? Ashura Strike? That sounds like the good one. I don't know what this does. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster. Okay, you're meaningless, right? Yeah, alright. Ashura Strike. Wait a second, what? I'm summoning- I'm you- I have no time. I have no time to think. I have no time to think. Rank up Magic's Exile Force. Utopia Rising's ability. And then, uh... You can't... I, I have to go with Dragnar. Face up defense. Rank up Magic's Exile Force. Turn Utopia Rising into... Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. Face up attack. Don't kill him, running out of time. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's fine. It's fine. Boom. And then with that take, uh your your damage. You're just straight damage. That's all I want. Ashura strike. Activate ability. You... Tornado Bringer. Ashura Strike. Activate Ability. Get rid of this. You get negated. You get negated. I probably should have negated the field spell, but I don't care. Battle. Hit this jerk. No. You got an answer to this? 
What is that? Throwing your opponent at bat- WHAT?! WHY?! WHY ARE YOU RUNNING THIS CARD?! WHY ARE YOU RUNNING THIS CARD, DUDE?! OH MY GOD! Are you serious? I'm gonna lose to time! What have you done? Ah! Oh, what? He's taking damage again. Why? Hello? Oh, he's just drove her. What? Why? What does that thing do? Okay, bye. That doesn't do anything. I have to end. As much as I don't want to, I have to. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It, you know what sucks? I, we probably would have been done if I didn't misplay and not continue the attack against Dark Magician. That's negated. You big dummy. Yeah, what you got now? What is this? Player with the lowest life points takes no da- Once per turn during the main phase, the turn player can- I- why are you- why- why? Chicken game? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> why are we doing this? Why won't you die? How do I kill him? How do I freaking kill him? <laughs> it's okay, Strange, you can also activate chicken game's effect, but- He's- he's the one dying! Not me! I'm not dying! The Dark Magicians. Oh, cool. Player with lowest LP. Uh, yeah, negate. Sure. I don't. I, I can't. I don't have the time to read anymore. Player with the lowest LP takes no damage once per turn during the main phase. You have nothing to target again. I can still activate this thing's effect. During the main phase, the player. The turn the player can pay a thousand life points and activate. The player with the lowest life points takes no damage. Once per turn, during the main phase, the turn player can... The turn player can pay a thousand life points and activate one of these effects. Oh, okay, I can activate the effect, destroy the card, and then kill him. That's what you mean. Whatever you have in your hand, it's not going to be worth it. Main phase two, you can't hit me again. There's nothing you can do. You lost. Turn the game off. That's it. Turn the freaking game off. Hit the concede button right now. Oh my god, bro. He's still stalling. You can't target Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. You can target ZW Tornado Bringer, though. What you got for me? Double or nothing? I'm so angry. You wouldn't believe. Destroy this card. Eternal, that's still negated. Or it should be. 
Yeah. And then you draw a card, and then I don't care. Can I, can I play? Thank you. Battle. All right. Attack. You. Probably should have read, but I don't care. I don't really. What's your answer? Kill him now. I can try. If he, if whatever that thing is removes, you, you're making it worse for yourself. You're making it significantly worse for yourself. Dude, this doesn't do anything. I can attack all of you. Die! Die, die, die! Oh my god. <laughs> All because I misplayed. Okay. <laughs> How would I... Hypercharging star. <laughs> how did I misplay? I, I need I need to see that. I need to see how I misplayed. <laughs> Six whole turns. Where do I even begin? Leave me alone. Utopia seething. Actually, that says Utopia seething. What did I do wrong? Okay. So you said I had lethal where he does all of this. I'm, I'm going to fast forward a bit. Somewhere after Utopia double, right? Or misplayed the moment you screwed up double or nothing route. <laughs> so he's got these. I got the Raigeki. He cancels the Raigeki. Does that. I do these. Max C, Utopia double. Get rid of those, get double or nothing, Utopia Dragnar. So is the idea instead of doing this, how, how did I mess up? Cause I can't attack directly with these, right? But, hold on. You can detach one material from this card. Add one double or nothing from your deck to your hand. Special summon from your extra deck one Utopia Xyz monster, except number 39 Utopia double. By using this face-up card, you control his material. And if you do, its attack becomes double, but it cannot attack directly. This is treated as an Xyz summon, transfer its materials to the summon monster, can only use effect of number 39 Utopia double once per turn. Okay. Could have exist in Utopia, but Utopia wouldn't have been able to hit directly. He has nothing on the board. He got Raigeki. So I get the Lightning Blade. No, it can? Why? Am I missing something? Utopia double into Utopia? Is that what you wanted me to do? Or is it something else? Yes, but how would it have literally free lethal? It's not, it can't attack directly. That's the effect of double of, that's the effect of Utopia double. The thing summoned by it cannot attack directly. Which is why Utopia Dragnar isn't that much of a problem. Bro, I'm about to force you into a VC to scream at you. How can Utopia... How can number 39 Utopia attack directly if it's summoned by Utopia Double's effect? Listen, okay, it just is. What do you mean it just is? I swear to God, I'm about to check this. Do not worry about it. Yeah? 
Oh, okay. Join me in a room right now and do not play any cards and do like turn chain off so that you don't even interrupt my my entire process. And I'm gonna go through the combo and then use Utopia Double to summon Utopia and then do what you're telling me and have it not work. It's it it doesn't work like that. Give me one second. I'm going in the dueling book right now. Okay. So this is what I don't understand. I use Utopia Double to summon Utopia Dragnar. I use Utopia Dragnar to summon Utopia Rising, and then Utopia Rising brings back Utopia Double. He summons this thing. You can target one light or dark monster in either graveyard, banish it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. This is a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. If this card is special summoned, you can activate this effect during the end phase of this turn. Add one dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except Bestial Mag Magnuma. Okay. The only other things that he had in his graveyard were Infinite Impermanence and Baldrake, or Bestial Baldrake. Can target one light or dark monster in either graveyard, banish it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. This is a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. If your opponent special summons a Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link monster, during except during the damage step, you contribute one light or dark monster, then target one of those special summon monsters, banish it. So that shouldn't have stopped me. I bring back Utopia Double, use Hyper or Rank Up Magic's Exile Force for Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. Use Get rid of that, get rid of that, summon this. He has this on board. I use that ability. Lower that thing's damage and negate its effect. I pop all of these. Go to Utopic Future Slash. And then it goes to battle phase. So the plan here was this is unable to attack directly. These are. I take out the one monster with Utopia Dragnar and then attack face with both of these because they shouldn't be affected by Utopia Double's effects. Here I'll boot up instead then. Oh wait, my thing hecking uninstalled for some reason. Oof. Give me 10 minutes. I'm going to do the combo to test the theory. It does not work. Steve about to, about to be jumped by every Utopia player. Why? How? I use Dystopia Ultimate Flexing Machine to disable all your Utopia and give you indigestion. Aha, your move, Strange Boy. I don't think. I think you're talking about Antitopian. It's not. There's no called. There's no card called Dystopia. Okay. So I attack that, and this dies. That's great. Why am I not able to attack with these? You should be the only thing under the effects of an inability to attack face, unless you have something saying that your monster summon cannot attack face. You can detach two materials from this card, special summon from your extra deck one number monster that has a number between 1 and 100 it is in its name. This is treated as a Xyz summon. The turn you activate this effect, other monsters you control cannot attack directly. Also you cannot special summon from the extra deck, except Xyz monsters. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can change the attack of the op opponent's monster to zero can only use each effect of number 99 Utopia Dragnar once per turn. What stopped me from using Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray and number F0 Utopic Future Slash to attack face? Yeah, I made that stuff up and you still thought I was half right. God, this game is silly. I didn't think you were half right. I was saying there's no dystopia card. There is an Antitopian, but that is, there's only one, and it's not good from what I remember. I think there was a prerequisite of, no, wait, I'm thinking number C39, Utopia Ray. That one has a prerequisite of having a life point gap of maybe 2,000. No, maybe it was more, actually. Maybe it was 3,000, where your opponent needs lead. 
God, this game is silly. Very. That's why I like it. Crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. Rubber room filled with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And Yu-Gi-Oh makes me crazy. Thanks. Did you use Dragonar's effect? So did you use Dragonar to special... Dragonar to special summon double. No. I used Dragonar to special summon Rising. And then used Rising to special summon double. But then I used Zexel, Rank Up Magic Zexel Force to turn Rising into Leo. Because there you have the issue, yes? Why? Why? What do you mean? Read Dragnar again? You can detach two materials from this card to special summon from your extra deck one number monster that has a number between 1 and 100 in its name. This is treated as an Xyz summon. The turn you activate this effect, other monsters you control cannot attack directly. Oh, okay. Damn it! Okay. That explains why this didn't work. But either way, the thing that you told me, the, the thing that you guys told me to do, that would not have worked. That doesn't work because the same thing would have happened. I would have just had less cards in the field. I played this perfectly. I was right. I'm right. So you sh we should play Shadowverse. I don't want to play Shadowverse. I did way back when. I don't, I didn't like it. It got boring. Okay, so I just tested this. You are actually right. I told you, you, you double Namekian. Oh. I actually played this correctly, as correctly as I could have. You need your opponent to have a monster in order to do the funny Utopia first turn kill. Yeah, I know. You mean one turn kill? It's a one turn kill, not a first turn. It's only first turn if you use number 100 and then go from number 100 into the healing damage opponent thing. But that can get stopped by a singular Ash Blossom. Nobody wants to see my Bloodcraft mechs. You what? I want to go back to when Satan was a viable win con? Excuse me? Ask me almost any question. At this point, we need a am I right sound redeem when. Is this like a sound clip from something or specifically me? Is it me saying am I right? Utopia hard fell off so I forgot. Also when viewer duels. Uh, no, you're just gonna trap tricks me again. Or like any of your VTuber deck, or whatever the hell it is, that has like 400 billion negates, and you only need one to stop me. How do you read it wrong? What did I read? I won't trap tricks, I promise. It doesn't matter. It, you don't need specifically trap tricks. As long as you have negate, you stop me because you know my choke point. There's a card from the original Shadowverse called Satan. He costs 10 mana, and when you play him, he deletes your deck and replaces it with a deck full of super powerful cards. Oh! Thank you for the follow, Blue Pant Pantera. Showing you should fight my funny skull servants. Didn't I already do that? The only... Hold on. The only misplay I had in this duel was summoning... F-Zero Utopic Future Slash in attack position, thinking that I could attack directly. If I needed to have summoned this in defense position, but it wouldn't have really mattered. No, wait, actually, that would have been worse for me. Or would it have? It wouldn't have mattered. Because he does this. Does that really funny, non-destructive removal thing and summons this thing. And then... I Does this do piercing battle damage? Takes double battle damage if this card is sent to the graveyard. Yeah, no, no, it wouldn't have mattered. If this thing were in defense, then it, it would have been fine. The only threat would have been this. Like, I took 500 because he attacked it with this, but it can't, it can't die to battle. So, whatever, who cares? This being in defense would have helped me more. 
800. I took 800 for that being in, the, in attack position. And then he does this. And then the rest of what I do is played perfectly. There's nothing wrong with what I've done. Because now I just Zexal Construction. Then he does this. And I don't care about that. Then this. You guys saw the rest of it. I don't need to show you. We're done. Bro, Utopia really be weak F. You can't even attack directly. Yeah. Yeah. It's awful. It's freaking awful, ain't it? Not gonna lie, Garura is just a super poly target. I don't know what that is. No one really uses it for double damage. Someone should make a VTuber version of Yu-Gi-Oh to steal Steven's money. What? What do you mean? There's a VTuber deck that you can use. Oka has it. You hard top decked, honestly. My God, just let me have my W. Is that not allowed? For me to just have my W, please? Jesus Christ. I will play one more ranked game and then I'll do some viewer games if you really want. No, I mean where all the cards are named avatar, named as, or named and themed after VTubers. Existing VTubers? I wouldn't really break my wallet because unless there are the indie VTubers that I watch, then there's nothing. I don't watch any of the big names. Oh, cool. Harpy's Feather Duster. Okay, so... So far... Can you deny searches? I don't really need the counter gate. This might be useful if I need it. Uh, the Ash Blossom could come in handy. Counter gate, you're going. This thing? Screw you! This was not worth it. Wait. No, wait, it negates its effect, right? It negates the whole thing? Yeah! Hold this penis! Uh, rank up magic. That's the one I need. No gamma can activate again, huh? The moment you activate another monster effect, you're kidding. It's not once per turn, it's once per chain. You have to be joking. It's fine. Okay, if he's stupid, I want to know if this works this way. Let's see if he blows his load too quickly. That. And then activate this. New chain starts. He tries it again. Or not. Damn, he's not stupid. Ah, oh, if he has the ability to... Do I have to stop here? Because if he can do that again, and he stops this thing... Must be special summoned by a card effect when your opponent activates a monster effect while you control no monsters. Special summon both this card from your hand and one Psy Frame Driver from your graveyard. From your hand deck or graveyard, and if you do negate the activation, if you do that, destroy that monster during the end phase, banish this, the face-up monster special summoned by this effect. This isn't a once per turn. Wow, that's really not a once per turn thing. Screw you, dude. So I have to stop here! I just have to stop! Ah! Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of rough. Sure is! Okay, you get to... You, you come into my hand. Wait, you banish... You banish the monsters summoned, right? You negate the effect, but banish the monsters that you yourself summon. This is still salvageable. Um, rank up magic Zexal Force. One of the few times in which I actually... No, wait, I can't activate that effect. That's that's stupid. That's a stupid idea. Because you, you end up killing yourself. Um, ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. Boom. Boom, boom, 
I want you in my room. Spend the night together. Activate this monster effect. Wait, you can stop that one. ZW Lightning Blade. You can't stop this one. And I hope that you cannot read. You dummy! You can't activate Banish the Face of Monster Special Summon by this effect. No, okay, no, that's that's your own. You can't negate this. You can't negate this. And then I get what I want. Untargetable. This one you can negate, but this is a different chain. So whatever you summoned... Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. This doesn't matter, because it's not costing me material. And then I end my turn. And then both of those get banished. And then now you have four cards, no board. I have a 5k monster that's untargetable and non... You can't destroy it. At least once. It has one protection from destruction. As long as you don't pull up anything... Oh, here comes Kaiju. Stop! It's not funny! It's not funny! What's up, Bats? I'm sorry for not noticing you sooner. Your name was Purple and then I mistook you for Moose. Oh, Snap, you playing me? Good luck, Mr. Steve. Oh, wait, that's you? That's you! What? Don't you dare stream snipe me. What is this thing? Your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, except during the battle phase. What is this? Runic wings? Runic, it's so Jover? What do you mean? I, this better not be the if you would take battle damage, your opponent takes it instead. What is this? This card is special summoned from the extra deck. You can discard one card, add one runic field spell from your deck to your hand. If another card you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card you control instead. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, return this card to the extra deck. Is this the choke point? I don't know if this is the choke point. Alright, you had a good run, it's over. I'm going to just assume this is the choke point. Whatever you're doing, stop it. You have three cards in hand, this adds to it. Stop it. Whatever you have left is gonna bother me. Huggin is a pretty good choke point, yeah? Okay. I don't think it- it looks like it doesn't matter right now. Manage this card right of whatever the hell... What is this? What the hell? You just get a 2000 attack trophy token? Not trophy. I don't know why I almost said trophy. Okay, so tokens don't matter, but this thing might. And that thing might. What the heck is this? Clip spell. Clip only to a monster you control. You can only control one whatever the heck. Only use each of the following effects of this once per turn. Well, this card is... That's really funny. That's that's really funny that you did that. Thank you. Cool. A rideable dragon once per turn. Well, this card is equipped to a monster... A non-effect monster. You can target one card your opponent controls return to that hand. I'm glad that's not a quick effect, because then you would be able to do it twice. Target one adventurer token you control, flip this card to that target. This. Control Fallen of Aldaz, or it is in your graveyard. You can special summon this card from your hand during the main phase. Quick effect, you can fusion summon one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck. Using monsters from your hand or field as material. Oh, it's this thing again. Oh, gross, it's the adventure engine as well. Omni Negate plus one bounce. Brain dead runic adventure, what a deck. Except he has no targets. Wait, he hard misplayed. He could have gotten a better end board. He got done goofed. How? How did he misplay?
Adventure token. Psy Frame Lord Omega. Once per turn during the main phase, quick effect, can banish both this face up card from the field and one random card from your opponent's hand, face up, until the next standby phase. Okay, never mind, it doesn't matter. Chaos Angel. Descend Heartless Angel. Please don't increase your attack. Ah! What did you just reveal to me? What was that? Why didn't you attack me? <laughs> Except, oh, battle phase skip? That has to happen? Okay, cool. What does this do? Um, not that one. Never mind. No shot, you just top decked that? Sure freaking did! Oh! What do you do? Can treat one light dark monster you control as a tuner. If this card is special summon, you can target one card in the field, banish it. This card gains these effects based on the original attributes of materials used for its synchro summon. Light. Synchro monsters you control are unaffected by monster effects activated by your opponent. Okay. Um. If he lives for more than one turn, which he more than likely will. Wait. Hang on. Once per turn, the first time a monster you control equipped with an equipped spell would be destroyed by battle. It is not destroyed. Can only use each of the following effects of Fateful Adventure. Once per turn during your main phase, can add one. I don't need the rest. I, I don't feel the need to read the rest of this. Harpy's Feather Duster. Get that thing out of here. Set this. Activate Tornado Bringer. Right here. Activate this thing's effect. One of its effects. Uh, you can go into the dumpster. And then activate the next effect. You never talk again. Uh, is it? Is this better? It's not lethal. It's not lethal. But it's probably better. I can't reattach it! Let's go for this. Uh... Battle phase. It's unaffected. Oh, right. I forgot. Activate Draconic Halberd. Face-up attack. Get face. I really hope I didn't misplay and forget that you you still yeah okay I can still uh, good. Untargetable. End. Steve, the only person running that trap and is somehow just making it work. Yeah, because it's great. It's a great trap. What's up, German Steven? I'm not. Ger I'm nowhere near German. Frick you and your level 6 or higher monsters. Runic Fountain. You activate Runic Quick Play spell cards from your hand during your opponent's turn. Once per turn, if you activate a Runic Quick Play spell card, you can target up to three Runic Quick Play spells in your grave. Ah! No! That's no! <laughs> no! Oh, GG bats, GG. Oh man, shoutouts to Grave of the Super Ancient. God, I love that card. Just want to remind you of your bad life decision. Oh, okay. GG's GG. You. You had me sweating there a bit. Um, that wasn't me. What do you mean that wasn't you? Which one was you? Who was you? Forgive me if I ended up calling you stupid by accident.
Well, I guess it wasn't really by accident. It's just like, I didn't know it was you. And if I had known it was you, then like, I wouldn't have said it, but I don't even know if I really did it. You know what I mean? Don't even know half these cards. Oh, okay. Did I actually fight you? I didn't, I, I don't know who I fought. Whoops, I just doxed my dueling ID. No, bro, it's a random. Hey, he could have been stream sniping. Damn toxic streamer. <laughs> uh. It's like so hard to actually stream snipe people on ranked. Oh, because so many people are queuing up. Gotcha. All right, dual room, create a room. Very long 900 second timer. <clears throat> Max occupancy. Damn, you can have a lot of people in a singular room, can't you? Or 50. Forbidden limits, standard, room comment. I wish I could set this to be custom. Limited gaming device. Pulls out old man cane. What happened to the Exodias and Red Eyes Black Dragons? They're still here. They're just... Situational. I don't know if I would call them good. Um... All welcome. Life points, 8k. Room list permissions on. Spectator permissions. All that good stuff. Red eyes are just non-existent. Oh, ouch. And Bandit Keith wasn't wrong. Who's Bandit Keith? Room ID. Here is the room ID for everyone that would like to join. Someone check if that number is divisible by three. No particular reason as to why. I just want to know if it is. What the heck? Get off the cab! Damn, that guy probably feels screwed over right now. Yeah, I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh since shoot middle school. Oh. See, I used to be that rank. He's the one that pulled pulled the blicky on Pegasus in the show. Oh! <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, go to next. Yu-Gi-Oh got me bricked up yet again. Sure, I don't know where to use this. I don't even know secret password. Oh, you're evil twins. Gotcha. He's using the VTuber deck, guys. He watches Hololive and Niji Sanji. And the man actually said Pain Peko out loud in the Discord on voice. That's right, I'm calling him out. Hugin Runic Wings. That's not good. Shoot, I misplayed. I'm so hecking stupid. It's okay, I bricked. Don't worry. Gigantic Sprite. Or is... Is it Sprite? the heck? For this card's Xyz summon, you can treat Link 2 monsters you control as level 2 monsters for material. The original attack of this card has a fusion synchro that has a fusion synchro Xyz or Link monster as material becomes double. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. Detach one material from a monster you control, and if you do- never mind. 
Don't matter. None of this matters. Sprite Elf. Cool. It's Jover, Steve. Shake hands, walk away. How? We say this every time, and then I win. What do you mean? We say this every time, and then somehow I come out on top. Evil Twin kiss Kissicle? Fighting this deck makes me wish I didn't like VTubers. You already summoned this thing. What? Card is activated. Add one live twin monster from your deck to your hand while you control an evil twin monster each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster. You gain 200 life points, and if you do, inflict 200 damage to your opponent. Cannot be linked. Uses link material to turn this. It is linked. Summon your opponent. Cannot target monsters. This card points to with card effects. During the main phase, quick effect. You can target one level two monster in your graveyard, or if your opponent controls a monster, you can target one rank slash link two monster instead. This card is special summon. You can link a Lila monster you draw. You can draw. You can draw during the main phase if you do not control a Lila monster. Quick effect. You can special summon one Lila monster from your graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except fiend monsters. Control a level two. A level special link two monster. You can special summon this card from your hand. Only special summon Sprite Carrot once per turn this way. When your opponent activates a spell slash trap card or effect, quick effect, you can tribute one other link slash rank slash link level rank or rent link to monster. Negate that effect. Shoot. I set a card. Y you're gonna you're gonna take control after I set a card? It's my turn. It's dark, I'm realizing. Is it gonna rain today? Screw me, dude. That's why I don't like VTubers proceeds to waste 90% of his life on watching some random 40-year-old dude from Morocco using a voice mod to sound like a cute girl on Twitch. I didn't say that's why I don't like. I said this is why I wish that... I said this deck makes me wish I didn't like them. All right. That's all I got. There you go. Kill my ass. I can't chain. Where's my chain? My chain is still on. Why can't I activate a trap card? Oh, because it's still my turn. That's why. Got it. Oops. You just played your turn during my turn, and then now you get to do your actual turn. That's really cool.
I hate Yu-Gi-Oh. This game sucks ass. Nightmare Griffin. I don't know what you do. Now you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player. <laughs> This game is actual doo-doo water. Oh, cool! I don't get to play the game. Uh, you got lethal? You gonna return that to my hand? No, you just kill it, okay. Evil twin something or other? I didn't read. Is this lethal? This is lethal. Wait, what? You ended your why did you end your turn? I ain't even gonna read. I don't care. Whatever you're gonna do. Cool. Ow. Pain. Runic card effect, it skips my battle phase. Oh. There's nothing salvaging this. Yeah, nah. Not a damn thing. I can activate this ability, but for what? It has to be that? Okay, that's cool, dude. Feel good about yourself? Yeah? I'm loving this player interaction that's happening right now. I'm loving it. I really love not being allowed to play cards in the card game. Mm-hmm. Very interactive gameplay right now. Rather date an athletic black girl or a fat white girl? The athletic black girl? <laughs> McBlixen? I like that name. <laughs> it's Jover. It's not about having fun, it's about stopping you from punching the screen. That's not stopping me, that's making me closer. To my weakest deck. How come you're not getting back on the cab? What the heck? What's going on? Ah! What's happening? Okay, alright. I'm getting off the table. Stop moving. One more with you. And then I'm fighting someone else. It's best two out of three. Honestly, I should be going best of one, like I do with the fighting games, but this game's so fast that it doesn't matter. Fast in quotation marks. You wanted to play me again, KK, I forgot. Yeah, we're going best of two. Best of, best of three. I'm playing a fellow in the lobby, might as well be. All right, time to do this so I can get Ash Blossom.
This is a little bit aggravating. It's fine. Damn it! What do I care more about right now? Go ham, I got no hand traps. I'm not falling for this one again. Don't think you can fool me with turning chain off. I genuinely don't have <laughs> <Well>, now. <laughs> Wait, whoops. Uh, the French champagne has always been known for its excellence. I ain't got very much to do here. Um, yeah, this is this is kind of a crappy, and or is it? Is it? I can do something stupid, but that's exactly what it sounds like. Stupid. What else I got? Why not? Dragnar. And then bring you. Come forth. Activate its effect. Get rid of you. Not you. Never you. Come forth. Utopia, or Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. And then this. And then its effect. And that. All right, Harpy's Feather Duster me. Go ahead. What the hell is that? Skip your next battle phase, whatever that does. Why is that only level two? No! No! Ash Blossom, more like Ass Blossom, get that ass banned and take his oxygen while at it. Quote low tier Steve. <laughs> take his oxygen. <laughs> Not this again! Level two monster. I feel like this is... Is this a dead weight? I feel like this might be a dead weight here. Steven understands that it's a good thing to give people the impression that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of physical and mental pain. This is why he is playing Yu-Gi-Oh. For real, for real. Why am I- yeah, okay, this is a dead weight because you run Lynx. Damn it.
Don't you dare. Don't do it. Please don't do it. I'm not kidding. I'm not gonna laugh. It won't be funny. Don't. If I see... Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. I was waiting for the red flashes, but this isn't quite what I thought would happen. Bogo Justice for Hire. Oh, yeah, that's funny. This card's like summon special summon one monster for hire with a different type from three monsters used for like summon from your deck in defense position. The card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can draw one card, then if you control three or more monsters. What the heck is happening? Gigantic sprite. Cool, this thing again. What? Oh, skip battle phase. What is this? That's not very helpful. Aren't you dead? Hold on. Unless you can stop my attacks. Opponent cannot target monsters with card points. Opponent cannot target monsters this card points to with card effects. Yeah, wait, what's going on? Kill question mark? No, hold on. I'm, I'm going to read everything. I'm not going to fall victim to not reading again. Cannot be used as a link material. If this card is linked summon, you can special summon one monster for hire with a different type from the three monsters used for the link summon from your deck in defense position. If a card or cards your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can draw one card. Then if you control three or more monsters for hire with different names, draw two additional cards. You can only use each effect of full go justice for hire once per turn. Okay, so you don't matter at the moment. Cannot be used as link material to turn it as link summoned. Your opponent cannot target monsters with card. This card points to with card effects during the main phase quick effect. You can target one level two monster in your graveyard or if your opponent controls a monster, you can target one rank or link two monster instead. Special summon it. You can only use this effect once per turn. Still not mattering that much, unless you have something that negates attacks. Uh, main face can special summon one monster for hire from your hand, except beat blade salesman, bladesman, blades, whatever the hell, for hire. If a monster for hire and special summon to your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can add one monster for hire from your deck to your hand, except this guy. Oh, you're about to combo the hell out of me on my own turn, aren't you? If you control a level or link two monsters, you can special summon this. You can only special special summon Sprite Carrot once per turn this way. When your opponent activates a spell, trap card, or effect, quick effect, you contribute one other level or rank or link two monster to negate that effect. Then if you tributed a level rank a level or rank 2 monster to activate this effect, you can destroy that card. You can only use this effect once per turn. If you control a level 2 monster... 
monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Only special summon Sprite Red once per turn this way. When your opponent activates a monster effect, contribute one of these. Destroy that monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. What am I missing here? Aren't you just dead? Unless I'm doing math wrong somewhere. All I have to do is just attack. No, because you're going to quick effect this, then pull something out of your freaking graveyard. Because you have a bunch of level twos. Yeah, this thing, champion for hire, and then that's going to lead into something else that I don't know. This card is special summon, you can... No, this is level eight. You have to... Le you have no level twos. Wait, what? What's going on? Ah, that's still a fur higher. And then this thing activates. And then... That. Uh, whatever that is. Yes? Can target one monster fur higher you control, and one monster your opponent controls. Destroy them, you contribute one monster, special summon one monster fur higher from your hand or graveyard with a different original name than attributed monster. Then if you tributed a link monster, you can activate this effect. Special summon one more such monster. This doesn't solve anything, to my knowledge. I think I'm dead, actually. I'm pretty sure I misplayed hard. All right. Yeah, nothing stops me. And then nothing stops me. What was the plan? What's up, Katatsu? God, I like... God, I like freaking hate Strange, but I can't leave because we are bounded by a blood contract known as brothers from another mother. <laughs> Question marks? I want to say since when, but honestly, I don't think you're wrong. What's up, keeping it, Isaac? Pretty sure I misplayed hard. You said first to two, right? Son of a- but this guy, but McBrickson, he's been waiting. I don't want to- oh. McBrickson, are you in the chat? If you're in the chat, say something. And like, tell me if it's okay, if you want to like play right now or... I have no idea what now. This is a day one deck, so I'm still learning. Hey, these are your rules. I'm- all right, I'll- You made it this way? I did. I'm so sorry. McBrickson can hold it. I'm so sorry, McBrickson. Man's not only breaking his deck, he's breaking and playing the streamer. McBrickson getting me McBricked up. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh has got me bricked up 90% of the time. I was about to say like right now, but this isn't a brick. What is this? Oh, okay. Wait, I'm turn two. This sucks. Bro sees Ash and gets bricked. Bro, hey, that's not what I said. What? Oh, wait, main phase. That was your draw phase? That was your draw and standby. I'm sorry? Wait, what did I miss? My overlay network! You can't just do that! You really just dumped my overlay network into the banishment. Okay, dude. Damn, it's Jover. Outplayed, I'm afraid. I, how is it Jover? 
We're only just starting, right? I can't believe Oka's a furry, by the way. I didn't say that last game. I'm saying it now, though. Why is this only limited? What happened? If you control a level or rank two monster, special summon this card from your hand. Can only special summon Sprite Jet once per turn in this way. If this card is special summoning. Add one Sprite Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. Only use this effect of Sprite Jet once per turn. Okay. Much and Lax forgot any other words, it seems. <laughs> It's always Jover? Why is it always Jover? Hug in the runic wings again. Donner, dagger, chinger, changer. Target one monster for hire, control one monster your opponent controls. Destroy them. Contribute one monster, special summon one monster for hire from your hand or graveyard with a different original name. Are you summoning that thing again? When's the part where you got like a billion negates and you then stop my combo from happening? None of these are quick effects. You're skipping your battle phase, you have no damage. Until this turns into something that has a quick effect to stop me... This isn't a threat. And it's first turn. Your first turn. There's the Lynx. During the main phase, you can target one level one. I, I'm not reading until you're done. So, chat, how are you guys? I don't feel like reading, so I'm not gonna read until he hits the end button. IP Mascara? Mascara? What? Mascarena. During your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect. Immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon one Link monster using materials you control. Frick your max C. Immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon one Link monster using materials you control, including this card. You can only use this effect once per turn. A Link monster that you that used this card as material cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I'm gonna kill Praxis. <laughs> we won't talk until he hits the end button. Bruh. Alright, sure. Get all the cards you want. Oh, that's a quick effect. He made one of them... If it's your turn, it's my turn, Dex. That's what you did. Whoops. Okay, what does this do again? Different original name tribute. Then if you tribute a Link monster, activate this effect. You can special summon one more such monster. Alright, so you're going to do all of this to Link summon something annoying. That's for sure. But I don't know when and what. So I guess there's nothing else to do than just, like, hit you with what I got, but what's better to do here? I don't need to hit face, but you're going to get a bunch of cards. What's the right answer? I feel like it's... Let's keep it shrimple. We have a sub goal so Strange can finally start goon maxing. Whoever wrought this this word upon humanity, I hope they're shot. Non-fatally. 
Hey, it's my turn. You must have forgotten. Or you just banish? Cool. Cool. Thank you. We'll go justice for hire. And then whatever that does, and then you just get your freaking whole hand back. It's an annoying ass deck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, there is a way to do this, there is definitely a way to do this. Can I please take my turn? <laughs> is that allowed? Am I allowed to take my turn? Damn, okay, uh, what's... What's something that I can do? I need you. As much as I don't want to admit it, I do need you. So I guess I'll do this. I don't, I, that hurt to do. That really hurt to do. <sighs> uh... Is it better to grab this? Yes, it is, actually. What am I doing right now? I'm... It, what's up, SMH Gandhi? I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? And then you negate it. Sean, when are you gonna jack it on stream? Hopefully never. Hi oh man, how are you? Thanks man, I'm good. What about you? I am... Depending upon what's about to happen... Pretty good. Nah, never mind, I'm terrible. That's cool, dude. Cool, you got like a whole... How many cards in your hand? You got like 20? And then I have the one zero damage monster, and then just a unicorn spear, and a, 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 I, mm, okay, whatever. It's on a holiday? Oh, sick. When's the part where I get to play the game? I hate Yu-Gi-Oh. I just wanna play the game. You got lethal? I'm sure you have lethal. Just kill me. What else am I gonna do? I got nothing to stop you. Not good, I see, with this amount of cards. Yeah, I'm not, because this dickhead max sees at the start of his turn and then has this entire combo that's just like, oh, you're playing cards? No, you're not. Can't even have the one card that I had on the field with zero attack. Can't have crap in Detroit. Oh, he's still drawing. Cool. One more for the fans. There it is. Yeah, let's go. Woo. And fate. Oh, you got your battle. You got your... Is this a freaking stall deck? Is that what you're doing to me right now? Are you stalling me? Oh my god. This is a stall deck. This is a play with your food deck.
He's going to finish you? No, he ain't. Or is he? Is he? Will you join in the battle? Yes, you can. Here is the room code. You attack with everything? Oh, rip Ash Blossom. It don't matter. None of this matters. <laughs> is it still the same game? Yes, it is! Like I said, it's the Play With Your Food deck. Oh, wow, he actually just played Max C. Funny. You're hilarious, aren't you? And then you're gonna kill me with Max C, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's McBrickson? left. See what you people do? Alright, now I know how to play this deck, Lamau. Uh, Ace Ventura. I know I've seen this name before. Is this Playhead? No. Who is this? Or is that you, Munch and Lax? That's you, Munch and Lax. Why do I think it was Playhead? Brixen can cry. I didn't want him to cry, I wanted him to play. That's cool, dude. I got, like, three of each of every other card in my hand, and then I, I grab both of these, even though I only have two. And then I grab the one of that, even though I only have one. This is kind of helpful. This ain't. I mean, this was okay. It would have been okay if I had drawn any of the other 400 billion cards that I got. But no. 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 I don't know the choke point. So I'm gonna just stop Galaxy Soldier. And then you called by the grave me, right? Or not. Never mind. Stop whatever you're doing. Stop in his tracks. Is this hand good to me? It's like looking at Egyptian hieroglyphics. I can't tell. This hand is awful. My hand was awful. I didn't get to do anything. I set two face downs and then continued on with my day. The only thing I got to do was possibly deny Munchenlax of whatever the hell he's doing now. But, as we can clearly see, it's not stopping him. He's gone with the... He's out here with the Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. Whatever this thing does... Uh, so you got outplayed, you'll get him next time. Yes. Yes, exactly. Galaxy Wizard? I wish you were a level 4. Why aren't you? I should replace you with like... <sighs> I should replace you with Max C, dude. I run you because I'm like... If I run into a Utopia FTK deck, then I lost. But, at the same time, for every other deck, if I draw you, you don't do anything. <laughs> Did 
Don't do it. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, darn it. It would have been real cool a turn ago. Whatever that is, get him out of here. What a nice game. I like how you lost on draw and cannot affect the game whatsoever. <laughs> That's why everyone that plays this game says it's awful, because it is. We got five turn games, but the games, like the turns themselves last a good while, like 10 minutes each. Oh, hey, Star, Star Siege, what? Star Liege Photon Blast Dragon. Special Summon 1 Photon Monster. Okay, cool. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. You got lethal? Psych! Counter Gate! That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Target one photon galaxy. What? Cool. Uh, bye. Whatever you're doing, stop it. Called, now you actually have the called by the grave. Come on. This is the literal meaning of lost on character select, but it's no longer a joke. Yeah, basically. Uh, it was never a joke. This is fine, because now called by the grave is out of the way. And you got both of these on the board, which I don't care too much about, but... Photon Vanisher. First few special summon from your hand while you control a Photon or Galaxy Monster. Cannot, cannot attack a turn into special summon. Only special summon Photon Vanisher once per turn. This card is special summon can add one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your deck to your hand. Exige monster that was summoned using this card on the field. As material gains this effect, it doesn't matter, it's being used for a link. Oh, for another Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. Still don't know what this thing does, because I didn't bother to read it last time. Still not going to read it this time. Another Photon Vanisher. Oh, Zeus! I guess I lost. Once per turn of Xyz monster battle this turn, you can also Xyz summon Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder by using one Xyz monster you control as material. Transfer this material to this card. Quick effect. Can detach two materials from this card. Send all other cards from the field to the graveyard once per turn. If this card, if another card you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, can attach one card from your hand, deck, or extra deck to this card as material. <sighs> Yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. Oh. 
I might as well turn chain off. Now I'm gonna drag this out. I'm gonna make you wait. Make you do each attack slowly and individually. Why did you do this? Kill me! Can Photon Vanisher not attack directly? Oh, it can't attack the turn it's summoned. Oh! You got Nick. Oh, no! Okay, hold on. So harder is dude. <sighs> ah, no, nah, I got it. the the infinite impermanence. No. Yeah, that's right. I stopped you. Ah! It bricked so badly. You bricked! Don't come to me with that. Why do I like Utopias? Utopias suck. These cards suck. They're awful. They're terrible. They don't do anything. If someone has negate, you die. If someone has board breakers, you can't negate them. When is it my turn? When do I get to have fun? Ash Blossom, go ahead, do it. I don't even care. Cool. Jokes on you. That was bait. Astro is going to beat the hell out of you for saying that. Who's Astro? You never got to you never get to have fun. That's the point of the game. If it's not fun, then why play it? The ghost guy from Yu-Gi-Oh Utopia arc. Oh, that guy. And it's called Zexel. I shouldn't be correcting you when I don't even know the character's name. To the graveyard with ye. Utopia rising. The return of Utopia Double. This is a little bit bad, but it's fine. Actually, wait, maybe it's fine double. Hold up. Oh, 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 oh. There's, what's the better idea here? I have a very stupid idea that I don't know if it'll even work, but here we go. What better time to experiment than right now? I feel bad playing Sprite for higher against the Dark Magician and then he played Summon Limit and I just didn't feel bad, period. 
Activate this ability. You go into the graveyard. I pull you out of my ass. You get to go there. And I get to pull you out of my ass. Well, you're not in my ass, but... You get to go there. And there's no reason to equip you. At all. I should replace this card. I should replace Fenrir Sword with Pegasus something or other. Why do I run Fenrir Sword? Uh, GG's though, for a player like you, I need to play Summon Limit and Drains and Skill Drain. True, honestly, don't blame me for playing it. What is skill drain? What is that? First special summon, I can't stop that. I don't think. What's the choke point? This card is sent to the graveyard except from the field while another photon or galaxy monster is in your is on your field or in your graveyard, can special summon this card in defense position and only use this effect to Photon Emperor once per turn after you normal special- you're, Okay, it's just get on the board. That's all it does. So now you either link this or it's not a- there's no tuner. Can't synchro. The ranks don't- the levels don't match so it can't disease. So what's the next step? It has to be a link. Face down. Okay, that one's gonna be an Xyz level 8. Ah, I should have stopped it. Wait. I can stop it. I don't quite remember the rank of Zeus. I'm pretty sure it's 12. But either way, that will put you closer to it. That better have been the choke point. You increasing that level would have mean that you were able to Xyz summon a level 8 or a rank 8 monster. And then that rank 8, if it fights, that leads to Zeus. As long as it doesn't die. Doug Dimma, damn it. Utopia is a terrible archetype. I will stand by this. Number 107, Galaxy Eyes. Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. And then insert Death Grips joke here. Cool. For real? No fooling? Subs Vesta, stinky fish time? No, the fish deck won't work ever. It's not gonna work. If Utopia don't work, then this ain't gonna work. I could have told you that. <laughs> Leave me alone. I oh, know. Hmm? It's negated. Yeah. That's so poggers, dude. That's gonna kill me. You win! Great! Can I go back to playing rank now? 
This deck sucks, yellow bricks. It worked? What do you mean? I negated you and you still got your level 8 so that you could get a stupid rank 8 monster to attack me twice and kill me with the battle damage. Galaxy is basically anti-utopia. Of course it is. Every time I boot up the stream, I swear. What? What do you want from me, Zvezda? I'm running Utopia, and I'm trying to run Sharks. Of course I'm gonna be failing. You, get on the cab, Zvezda. If I win one game, if I win one game, I'm never fighting you in Yu-Gi-Oh again. Get right, get in this room. Don't even play this game. Nice option select. How's your game going? Based galaxy brick dragon. Don't look very bricked up to me. Also, you not screwing with my lab deck if it was fully built. Okay. What is happening? Why am I looking at a normal monster? Jack's Knight, King's Knight, Queen's Knight. What? Joker straight. Discard one card, special summon Queen's Knight. Add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except light warrior monsters. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one light monster, light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. Only use each effect of Joker straight once per turn. Whatever you're doing, how is it working? That's gonna trade. I guess you're fine with that. I would play this game if I could build the decks I want, but you can't. No way Strone said something like that and challenged Zvezda to a game he... He nerds at? Does Zvezda nerds at? Does he? I know that he plays Yu-Gi-Oh, but... Brother Gotcha's already have me in a committed relationship, so I can't. Ew. You play Gotcha games? All by the grave. Why didn't your fusion monster negate? I saw one other person trying to run this knight deck with the normal monsters. What does this do? This looks like Brick City. Talks about gotcha game is playing the original gotcha game trading card game. <laughs> Don't think about that. The wicked cycle of ill you play gotcha games and ill you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Got here before Steven, he broke my god card play. Oh. Arcana Knight Joker. Obelisk the Tormentor. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the VTubers. One of the gotchas I play, I still play it out of second cost fallacy. Which one? What can you top deck?
Okay, Grand Order, I've had my account since release. Oh. Still ain't gonna touch that game. Never catch me playing that game. I don't want to look at waifu version of Oda Nobunaga or whoever the hell else. Any other historical figure that's been turned into an anime girl for one reason or another. Uh, yes, fellow FGO sufferer. I thought that game was generous with stuff. Strange not enjoying girl Oda. It's the same points I always bring up. Oda Nobunaga, Astolfo, Thomas Jefferson... Who the hell else? I think Frankenstein was also turned into a chick. I'm all for having people turned into, or being put in an anime, like calling back historical figures, and then using them to fight wars or whatever the hell they do in Fate. But, like, why you gotta make them an anime girl? Why am I looking at a femboy version of Astolfo doing whatever the hell he does with like the flesh tooth fang? I don't know why I mentioned that. Ah! I don't have any cards, mate, just kill me. Stuffo's still a guy in FGO, by the way. I know that he's still a guy, just still. All right, SMH Gandhi, let's go, let's do this. Oh, hey, don't die, Redeem, cool. Yeah, Frankenstein's a chick, of course. FGO is the least free-to-play friendly game imaginable? Oh. If Astolfo's a man in history, he's still a man. You know the problem. You know the problem all too well. Do I spent literally 120 quarts just for one copy of whoever? Who? I love Musashi Miyamoto. Never thought I'd say that as a straight guy. I... Uh... This is... Usable. Oh, hey, cool. Dark Magic Circle. Or not Dark Magic Circle. Oh, Dark Magical Circle. I don't care that much about Soul Servant. I don't even remember what that thing does. If you look up FDO's Musashi, you'll understand. Oh, wait, I, I've seen her. I think. Him. Her. It's the guy. It's a freaking guy, but like, they... Ah! See my problem? Eternal Soul? Oh no! Dark Magicians don't have Negate, right? Oh hey, Dark Magician. You just let... That just lets you set an Eternal Soul. I don't care about that. I don't know what that does. United Dragon. Send a spellcaster monster or spell trap that it mentions Dark Magician from your hand to your graveyard. Okay, never mind. I was reading that. Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. This card's name becomes Dark Magician while on the field or in the graveyard. Your opponent cannot target spell traps you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I don't know what that other face down is, and I don't remember. Yeah, no, you just set that. It doesn't tell me what you set. That was just something that was in your hand. Shoot. Alright. Uh, I need one of you. Mm -mm. Eternal Soul. Special Summon a Dark Magician from your hand graveyard. Don't care very much about that thing. Dark Magic Circle. Yeah, that's bad, though. Uh, oh well.
and see if that bites me in the ass. Berserk and normal Usashi are both smash tier levels. What? This times... Is it a billion? I can't see how many zeros that it. No, that's 10 million. Was this... Whatever it is, I don't care. Frick you, solemn judgment. Let's hope you don't have a thing that increases your attack by a thousand. Eternal soul. Ah, right. Yeah, no, that killed me. That, sol that solemn judgment just killed me. Alright. I'm not dead if I concede. Never mind. I guess I still gotta do the push-ups. Ay, ay, ay. NP7, both of them out of principle? NP7? What does that mean? Rick, you, now I get to play the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Ouch, my foot. I'm gonna eat food, have a good rest of the stream. Strong to see you, my man's getting seven copies of them. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, what's the answer here? I know what the answer is. Uh, honestly? Since it seems you have no answer to this, you can go back. This is the one that I need. And then, which do I not care about out of all of you? I definitely don't care about you. I'm f I forgot which one was which. I forgot which one was which. Yeah, whatever. It's fine, guys. Maybe he bricked. You bricked? I did not brick, actually. I did not brick at all. I screwed myself over. I just misplayed so hard that I didn't even get to start my combo. Dark Magical Circle... As long as you don't kill me in one turn... Uh, yet again, Copium, this is salvageable. Don't look up the five-star rates, by the way. Ay, ay, ay. Why do people play gacha games? I only play the Kingdom Hearts mobile game because... It was a Kingdom Hearts game. I kind of felt obligated to do it. Still didn't play it to completion. I didn't see all of the cutscenes that were released in both Union Cross and Dark Road. Just most of them. Well, at least most of them for Union Cross. I didn't see any of them for Dark Road. But that's the only gacha game I've ever touched. Master of Chaos. This isn't good. Because Fusion Summon target one light monster, fight or dark monster. This is lethal, isn't it? Yeah, this is lethal. Oh, cool. GG's. GG's. One more where I don't brick, or where I don't misplay, I mean. You got the last one, then I'm going back to ranked. Because rolling the gacha is like gambling. But... 
I only dabbled in the KH mobile after my friend told me there was actually important story stuff in it. <laughs> Damn it! This doesn't count, I hope. Nah, it basically did. I don't see why I wouldn't. Oh, that's not. Well, wait, this is fine, actually. This is fine. This is entirely fine. Steve, the only Yu-Gi-Oh player who wants to go back to ranked instead of dying to chat. Because ranked, people are playing worse. Whatever you're doing, stop it. I don't fully remember what Dark Magical Circle searches for, but I don't want you to do it. Only got three cards left, and I'm only assuming this is Eternal Soul. End phase. Cool. Good. That's cool. Dexel Construction. Ash Blossom? No, okay. You go back into the deck. Yeah, Eternal Soul. Dark Magician. Pecking! Oh, it's banished. Oh, that's bad. Didn't realize it got banished. This is gonna lead to lethal, ain't it? Might only got two cards in your hand, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If Dark Magician is normal or special summon to your field except during the damage step, Also, target one card your opponent controls, banish it, only use each effect of Dark Magical Circle once per turn. Every Dark Magician in your monster zone is unaffected by all that good stuff. This face-up card leads to field destroy all monsters. Only use the following effects of Eternal Soul once per turn. This is a quick play spell you're using in the battle phase to now turn these two monsters into a fusion monster to kill me because you're summoning in the battle phase. So me reading that has no meaning at, uh, at all. Damn! Dark magical circle and eternal soul every freaking turn. Ah, the one chance I would have had. GG's, GG's. Actually, my hands are fire, man. I noticed. Ah! The room's gonna stay the same, no matter what. Going back into rank. See, when you're gonna stream Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out? I haven't played the first one. What's up, Usaro? To be honest though, if I had a good MMO to time sync myself into, I probably wouldn't play any gacha outside of FGO. Same... well, not about the gacha thing, but I mean, I would time sync the MMO. I... It's too bad there aren't very many good ones. Standby phase... main phase... Zexal construction. Do that funny. Do the funny. Or not? There's no funny? There's no funny! There's no funny. Nice. No funny. Ascended Sage. Arm Sage. Utopia Double.
Oh, Steve's Dragon's Dogma is dope, to be honest. You can climb big monsters like you were in Shadow of the Colossus. I don't doubt that. I just haven't played the game at all. Uh, I tried a while back, but I played it on the hard difficulty that's not meant to be started. It's not meant to be the first thing you do with the game. Which was a bad idea. Uh, I need this one. Make up Magic Dexel Force. Your ability. Summon Utopia Rising. Don't die! What the heck? This hand came to you while you were playing... I'm... I'm gonna... Well, we are playing I'm screwed because of the feather. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Utopia Rising effect. Bring back double. Rank up Magic Zexal Force. And with that, go to... Where is he? There you are. Draconic Utopia Ray. Um, pull up Tornado Bringer, top of the deck. Activate Lightning Blade. Activate Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray's ability. Pull in Tornado Bringer. Equip Lightning Blade. Activate ZW Unicorn Spear's ability. Attach to Draconic. And then finally, Xyz Summon Utopia Double into Utopic Future Slash. Why well, you didn't do any of these, man? Because I didn't get the cards for it! I got it one time! I got it one time and then I played... So, remember when I had this card? This card can only be special summoned if there's nothing else on the board. So, what I did was I accidentally played whichever one of these these cards, the ZWs, first, and then couldn't play this, so I couldn't do the rest of the combo. And that's because I keep mistaking this card for this card, which can only be special summoned when there's a rank or a level 4 monster or lower. Not lower, level 4 monster already on the board. What did you just do? You just discarded, like, you banished, face down, six of your extra deck cards. Okay. Pot of Extravagance. Destroy all spells and traps. That doesn't work, you stupid, stupid, dumb idiot. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should read! Feel pretty dumb now, huh? Mmm! What is this? End of the battle phase of your opponent controls more monsters. What the? Your opponent controls more monsters, more cards than you. you. Can make your opponent banish cards from their field face down so they control the same number of cards as you do. That's cool, dude. That's really sick. Awesome. That's really freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. I banished two more than I needed to. Honestly, it would have been... Oh, wait! This is actually extremely detrimental. No, it's not. Wait, no, yeah, it's not. If I can get one of these back out, then I can get... I don't know. If I can get one of those back out, and then... Xyz summon Utopia or something, then I can get Rising back out, and then back to double, and then do what I did again. Utopia the Lightning will come out at least. Cool. Oh, okay. Bye, Zexal Force. I don't know why you banished that one. Flanderies and Stree, Flanderies and Rob, Robin, Robina. What do these do? Someone tell me what these do. I don't feel like 
greeting. Blanderies, GG, shake hands and walk away? What? Blanderies, these nuts. Wouldn't it have been better if you had said Blanderies nuts? What is... This isn't one of them decks that does nothing but prevent me from special summoning and then normal summon a billion monsters, does it? Is that what it does? They beat you in a duel, that's it? That would be really cool if I had a monster! Is this worth doing right now? I, it might be better to just hang on to that. Because I don't know what the two cards that he set are. If one of them is... And play on your turn. Oh, for real? I'm afraid of him having lethal through these spell cards. I'm just gonna Harpy's Feather Duster and not think about it. You should red and pen, it's a floodgate. I don't know what that is. What are you gonna do about the Harpy's Feather Duster? Either activate your cards or don't. Come on. Banish one winged beast monster from your hand or face up field. Alright, I'm kind of glad I did something about that. Alright, Harpy's Feather Duster didn't really mean anything here, but whatever, I guess. Probably would have been better to save that for next turn if he has something that's actually a threat. You remember how it's my main face? Yeah, me neither. Oh, you should- oh, you're telling me to read this thing. This card is Tribute Summon. You can add one Fluanderese Spell Trap from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can Normal Summon one monster while this tributed, Tribute Summon card is in the monster zone. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of Special Summon monsters. They control an attack position once per battle during damage calculation. This card battles an opponent's monster. Quick effect, you can banish one card from your hand. That opponent's monster, current attack and defense become have until the end of this turn. Okay. So yeah, you're the kind that normal summons a billion times, but you prevent me from doing most of what I want to do with my special summon monsters. That's real poggers, dude. If I can draw a monster, if I can draw a monster, then it's fine. Probably. Blanderies and snow something? Snow, snow, snow. Once per turn while you control this tribute summon card, you can conduct up to three normal summons. Sets this slash sets this turn, not just one. While this tribute summon card is in the monster zone, if your monster attacks the defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Your opponent, once per opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish one card from your hand, change all special summon monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. And you have gotten rid of Utopia Rising. Now I cannot play the game. That's cool. What's up, Trashy? All right, you stream Master Duel the day I scrap my decks for material. What's the hecking chance? I streamed it before. Were you not here? I run into this deck one other time. Where's my Raigeki when I need it? Push-ups, please don't forget the don't die. I'm not dead yet!
You're dead, dead. No, I'm not. I got 300 life points. 300. On death's door is not dead. Called by the frickin' grave. I haven't selected anything yet. I think you blew your load a little bit early, man. I mean, I guess I got this. Summon you in defense position, but why? I can summon you in defense position, but why? There are no utopias. There's one utopia in the graveyard. I'm about to stall this dude. I'm about to do something freaking hilarious if this works correctly, unless he has removal. Unless it got banished. Did it get banished? Where is it? Oh my god, how did it get banished? How and when? Why is this banished? I honestly don't know. Oh, because it was on the floor. It was, yeah, I remember. I had to banish it. I summoned it in the beginning. Ah! It's over, dude. Topic Sage lets me pull in a ZW, but that won't give me anything. A ZW or ZS, and that won't give me anything. I mean, I can just call in Utopia. Topic Sage. This doesn't do anything for me. Right, face down defense. Steven, please at least build a tier 2 deck. This gameplay is too sleepy. What do you mean build a tier 2? Piercing battle damage, right. Steven, are you actually roping this guy out of spite? Just concede and go next? Holy heck. I wanted to see if there was something I could do. Damn. I don't like conceding. Screw you, dude. Screw you. Hey, what's the room code? There is no room code. I'm not in a room. What's up, Luca Ryan? Imagine Steve streaming during Capcom block of AGDQ. What? Oh, forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I go second. Cool. I don't get to play again. Ah, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Solemn judgment can go back. So that's not good unless I'm in turn one. No punk? These things are meaningless, right? I don't remember ever being threatened by one of these the first couple of times I fought one. But I could be wrong. There was nothing you could do and you know it. I don't know it. That's why I was checking. Believe it or not, this deck is fairly new to me. I have only put it together. I put it together a while back. Stop playing this game and go play Churn Vector. I wish I didn't know what you're talking about. But unfortunately, that game showed up in my Steam queue and was so astonishingly disgusting that I... I remember it. You got rid of infinite impermanence and damaged yourself. Alright. Also, Steven, earlier on, random dude just can... Also, Steven, earlier on, random dude just can see it already stopped stalling. Do as I say, not as I do. 
These matches go the exact same way every time. Punk, hopefully gold pride punk. Mm. There sure is a lot of stuff happening. Go second, negate something pointless, proceed to make garbage utopia monster, and end turn. <laughs> Dies immediately. <laughs> Leave me alone, bro. You, I'm gonna make Utopia good. I know I say this every time, but I mean it this time. Don't worry. Punk Jam. Whatever that thing is. So I got like a really good hand right now. And as long as he can't deny me something, I can probably do the Utopia double combo on him and then he just dies. Because this is an attack position. But that's if the board doesn't change from what it is right now. Resolve. No punk. Whatever this thing does. Don't make me read this many cards, man. Steven, just can see already. Stop stalling. You lost on like fifth second of the match. Go on. Chop, chop. Oh, he's going, so lots of disruption. Good luck. Shouldn't have any cards on your field at the end of their turn. You can't even play through one disruption. It's no use. Take this. Steven played Magic the Gathering. He'd probably play Elf Ball and Historic and concede every time he got turn three Doom Scar Scarred. Right, Gert Locker. The Gert Locker's not here. Okay. What's going on? Psychic Tracker, Psychic and Punisher. Ukyo Punk Rising Carp. Punk Jam Dragon Drive. I read that manga. Uk Ukyo Punk something or other. Okay, Zexal and Trust is usable. We pay 600 life points, fusion summon, punk fusion, monster, field hand uh, during opponent's turn, quick effect, pay 600 immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one punk synchro monster using monsters you control as material, you can only use each effect. That's really cool, dude. Uh, so, so, can pay 600 life points, take one level 3 psych psychic monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your punk card or effect activation. While this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Okay. Contribute this fusion summon card. Special summon up to two punk monsters with different names from each other from your hand or your deck, except level 8 monsters in defense position. If you synchro summon using this card as material, you can target one punk monster you control. It can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn can only use each effect of Ukyo Punk, whatever. One tuner plus, I, while your life points are less than or equal to your opponent's, this Synchro Summon card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points, then target one monster you control, and one card your opponent controls, banish them. Okay, that's cool. Wait, no, that's not his turn. Start of your battle phase, you can make this card gain attack equal to the defense, the difference in life points and your opponent's. I don't care about that. You control a level 3 monster other than Psychic Tracker, you can special summon this card from your hand to defense position. You can only special summon Psychic Tracker once per turn this way. A psychic monster used... Alright, okay. Uh... It's Exo Construction. You have no cards in your hand, but you can do some things. Solemn Judgment, get the hell out of here. Ascended Sage, let's do this. Special Summon Ascended Sage. Indignation, hmm? So he doesn't have much, but can send a few cards on your field back to your hand. Good luck. Need to read Amazing Dragon, that's your only issue. You mean Dragon... Psychic and Punisher... Right? You mean this one? Jam Dragon Drive? Take one level 3 Psychic Monster from your deck and either add it to your hand, send it to your graveyard. If opponent activates a card or effect in response to your punk card or effect activation, while well, this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. 
Sonic Thrust? Thanks. What's your name? Um... Lloyd. Basically just read a small novel. <laughs> oh, this thing? Punk Jam Extreme? You can banish one punk card from your graveyard, special summon one punk monster from your hand of a punk... If a psychic monster troll paid life points... Does he have something in his graveyard that I missed? I'm I I'm I'm doing what I'm doing. I refuse to read anymore. Face up defense. The purple rank three will quick synchro into amazing dragon. Send cards back to your hand. That's not cool. During your opponent's turn, quicker pay. Okay, yeah, alright. So... Synchro monsters using the monster you control is... Alright, so... That would matter for that, right? This thing? I need to not chain, but after this thing gets put in the grave. Double or nothing. I don't care about that getting put in the grave. So I'm just gonna summon Utopia. Utopia. On the field. Increased by a bajillion attack. Both of these synchroed. So this was a mistake because this synchro summon Amazing Dragon, and then this gets put back into my extra deck, doesn't it? I can still Normal Summon, but it doesn't matter, because... Well, I guess I could still... Alright, I'm gonna do something possibly foolish. You, get in here. Probably would have been better with SZW. Rank up Magic Zexal Force. This card is Synchro Summon, target opponent controls, number of levels, so different, whatever the heck. Return them to the hand, yep. Alright, so now that that's happened, and I didn't use my normal summon yet, I can still do this. I can still do this excellent trust. And I can't use these abilities, but I can still make it, like, uh, a pretty good monster. It doesn't matter which of these I pull back. Special summon, yes. Face up defense. And then I have Utopia double. Frick me. No, wait! This might be a stupid idea. He's coming back! When you say, come on my back, I mean, come back. <sighs> uh... This is a stupid idea, I think. I'll target one monster in your graveyard except amazing... Yeah, alright, cool. I guess I'm gonna have to do this. As much as I don't want to. That's not the right thing. Battle. Hello, it's my turn. Can I do my turn? Can I do the my turn things? Start a battle phase, make this card. I okay. I didn't intend to attack that thing. You get the hell out of here. Activate double or nothing. This was debatably not a good thing. Uh, no, don't activate its effect again. Do this. I have no time! Ah! This is bad. This is very bad.
This game is really whoever falls asleep first loses. Yeah, basically. It's taking too long. Just concede. I don't need to concede. Hell, I probably could have just... I could have just killed him if I had attacked that thing. Th this thing to the left. Instead. I had lethal. I can a freaking catch Tira? What a tear whore. Oh my god. Cool. I have to deny that attack. I have to stop it. Damn it. Yeah, and then you banish it, and then I get nothing. At least you're not dead, am I right? My brother in Christ, they nerfed Kestira. I don't want to hear that. No. You can't target! Oh yeah, you can't target! Ha! <laughs> you can't target him because of Tornado Bringer! Ah! Uh, no! What do you mean? What the- but, but, but the negation! Does that thing got not- Pep is unaffected? You have to be kidding me. Remember when Yu-Gi-Oh was my number is higher than yours? Yeah, man, GG, heart of the cards, haha. -ha. No, I don't. Start up a room. The room's already up. What the hell, dude? Why is Pep unaffected? The, the thing that sucks is I really probably could have killed him if I had attacked the thing to the left of it rather than the... I was so focused on, like, the time Oh, man. Little goblin is sad. Yeah. Bro, give me a sec. I'm in a game. Then why the hell are you saying post the rune code? When are you going to play a good game on Monday, Steven? Honestly, never. Well, like this guy just used Dust Tornado twice on the same card. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pep is strong. <laughs> Kill me. I hate Mondays. Okay, Garfield. I'm so mad, dude. It's not fair. The, the the part that hurts about that one, it's like, it's not even a matter of I lost because I didn't read, it's a matter of I lost because I couldn't do the math fast enough. I lost because I'm bad. Yeah. Haha, he lost because he didn't have enough cards. I love Necroface. What is Necroface? Damn, Steve doing runbacks though? I'm not. Oh, hey, Boom. Sure, I'll give you your best two out of three, and then Trashy will be the last one, and then, uh, that's it. That's gonna be it for today's stream. Cool. Damn. I don't like going second. I can work with this. Lost because I spent 50k on a softcore safer work music video of me and a cartoon character. Why are you so hung up on that? I, I keep seeing stuff about that and then my thought is like, I don't care who this is or why they did it or whatever this might be. Like, stop. Why do people care so much? They destroyed all my tier one decks today to make a tier, a new tier one. What determines the tier of the deck? Vampire Retainer. 
Why do you look like one of the grafted animals from One Piece? The vampire Domain. Pay 500 LP during your main phase. I was reading that. Vampire suck. She can suck something. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, that's cool. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points during your main phase. This turn, you can normal summon one vampire monster in addition to your normal summon set. Even if this card leaves the field, you can only gain this effect once per turn. Each time your vampire monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, gain the same amount of life points. If you would tribute a monster for a tribute summon, you can tribute a zombie monster your opponent controls even though you do not control them. You can only use each effect of the following effects of Vampire Sucker once per turn. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it to your opponent's field in defense position, but it becomes a zombie monster. If a zombie monster is special summoned from either graveyard, draw one card. So the main things I have to worry about are what's in your hand, and the face down, which I no longer have to worry about. I don't really care about the monster. In fact, I would prefer that it stays there. Special summon one vampire monster from your deck to destroy it during the end phase of this turn. Okay. Damn, you still on this game? Unfortunately. The win rate and tournament participation determines the tier. Oh, okay. Got a crap hand, let's go. Oh. So it's supposed to summon, pay 500 life points, add one vampire from your deck to your hand, except vampire familiar. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one vampire card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. It's supposed to summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Um, shoot, what did you just add to your hand? When a monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can only use this effect of vampire Fraulein. Fraulein once per turn, once per battle, if you're a zombie monster battles an opponent's monster during the damage calculation, quick effect, you can pay a life points in multiples of 100, maximum 3,000. Your battling monster gains that much attack and defense during the damage calculation only at the end of the battle phase. If this monster destroyed any monsters by battle, you can special summon this. Okay, I think this doesn't matter. I'm not sure, though. Quick chat, what do I negate? What the... What's wrong with you? Why are you giving him answers? Ash, ass blossom. My ass blossom. Okay. I can still do this. Yeah, I can still do this. Face up defense. I'm hunting the video, but it's been it's been nuked Lamal. Damn. Really? Effect activation. Um you get no, you get to go to the graveyard. Effect Resolve. Utopia, double or nothing. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. Face up attack. I summon... Number 39, Utopia, in face up attack position. And with the ability of... ZS Armed Sage, I pull Tornado Bringer into my hand. I now equip... Number 39, Utopia, with Tornado Bringer and Lightning Blade. That's not all. Battle phase. I now attack your face-up attack position monster, but negate my own attack. Uh, you go to the grave. And then you activate that. I don't care that much about. And then I activate the effects of... Double or nothing! 
to double my monster's attack during the damage calculation only to attack your face-up attack position monster for 15,000 damage for game. I did the funny. He's acting up again. Oh my god. Ban the word I. Jesus Christ. Not allowed to have fun in here, bro. Wait, are you still on the table? Someone lost to that mid. Oh my god, bro. Oddly enough, it's because for some reason, Boone bricks pretty often when fighting me. Not sure why. Bro, this streamer is corny. So? Let me be corny. It's so funny, is it? Posture check. Frick you. Feel like I'm a brick versus you? Good. Why are you still standing by? Hold up. Let's go for the second game. Get too bricked. Bruh. Can't just be saying stuff like that. This is interesting. Um, hmm. Whoops, I almost. Um, pull you in. Yeah, you're the one I need. Frick me! I said the word. Oh well. Face up defense. Face up attack. It's kind of crappy, but I'll live. Alright, uh, Steven, show me a good end board this game. I don't think I can do that. Define good. Just one, please. The thing about this is it's almost good. Ascended Sage. It doesn't matter. Both of these are going to the graveyard. This freaking card, I hate it. Steven's deck, I've been throwing bricks at your marching ass since 1959. Okay. Uh, is this a reference to something? Because I don't get it. Got the video again, it's safe for work. Animated characters in lingerie, Steve's is okay to post. I would prefer if you didn't. What is better to grab here? Um... Damn! There's like two answers to this, but only one of them is... Alright, you know what? I'm grabbing you. For a very specific reason. Do this. Get rid of both of them. And then, I summon you, number 39, Utopia Rising, in face-up defense position. It's a reference to these nut- huh? These what, sir? Hyper rank up magic, Utopia Force, to turn... Utopia rising into the main character. New season. Number XX Utopic Dark Infinity. I activate its effect, which lets me heal the original attack of another monster on the field that I control. And now. I shall Xyz Summon Utopic Future Slash in face-up defense position 
using Utopia du Double. Bro, this is corny. Man, you're corny. Then I will set two cards face down and end my turn. Damn, I didn't know you actually have a decent combo. <laughs> I wouldn't call this decent, dude. What the? What is this? That is not worth it right now. That is not worth it ever. No. Wait, what? This card is sent to the graveyard. You can add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except white baking that are either Skull Servant or mention, mention it, then discard one card. Sure. I don't know when else I'm going to be able to use this, so it, let's hope to God that's a choke point. Someone tell Boon the face down. There are two face downs, or were two. Ah, come on. This is the most cringe thing I've seen since the last time he played Yu-Gi-Oh! No fun allowed, bro. Hold up, I'll be back in a second. I think I scratched my face. The board change, are we good? Am I fine? I think I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, uh, hey. You don't get to do that. What does that do? The original attack of this car is a combined number of king servants, uh, whatever the heck. King Servant, Skull Servant in your graveyard times 1,000 in your graveyard. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one other King of Skull Servants or one Skull Servant from your graveyard. Special summon this card. What the hell is this? Wait, then you're just going to bring that thing back. Screw you, dude. Give me that. You go to the graveyard. That's mine now. Wait, that thing can't activate again, can it? That's not once per turn! That's not funny. That's not destructible by battle. Is that Link Rebo? Yes, it is. So based. <laughs> All Strange is missing is... Dual disc on stream. Oh, hey, speaking of that, check this out. Ouch. <laughs> Which way was this thing supposed to go on again? This way? Frick. Ashura Strike. That's good. This dude really is the supreme cornball OMG, man. Leave me alone, what? What's wrong, what? Acting like this ain't based. Activate the effect of this thing. Heal for 3k for no particular reason. Ashura strike, attach it to whatever your name is. And then Battle phase. Link Karibo. 
die. Hmm. Ah! Wait, what? When an opponent declares an attack, you contribute this card, change the opponent's monster's attack to zero until the end of this turn. Bruh. Wish I had red. That sucks. If I had red, then I should have. If I just attacked with the utopic, utopic. Ah. If I attacked with the utopic, whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Main phase two. You change the defense. And. Hey, wait, what about the rest of my damage? Where's the rest? Did you just completely purge the damage increase from Utopia Double? Why? There is only so much that can be done about this. No. I don't know why you're attacking that thing. Nothing happens. Are you- you're trying to bait out the Utopia Dragnar Zero thing so you can kill something? I believe in you, Steve. You can't go out like this. Never mind, rip- uh, it's fine! It's fine! You had that, but you threw, like, me playing DBFZ. You right. Coming again. You shouldn't... I want to say you shouldn't bother, because I am... The last one to be fought is going to be trashy. That's it. What's the play here? 3,000... That's not going to kill anything. But, actually, no, that won't work because you're not a number C39 Utopia Ray. Ah, uh, um, hmm, is Utopia... Damn! Bruh. We're stalemated, yeah, we're at a stalemate. Slightly my favorite, because I'm healing, but still. <sighs> I can't negate you. Damn it, dude, if I run- if I had ran Pegasus instead, then I wouldn't need Unicorn Spear. Unless I can just get rid of something else. Instead. No, that wouldn't be enough. That won't work. That's not enough. That's not enough. Wait, but can I... That wouldn't help. Wait, but that would! Okay, hold up. I might have the out. Okay, you can stop now. Nah, come on, you don't got anything to stop this. Activate its ability. Dump this into the trash can. Grab... This bad boy. Activate this thing. Uh, special summon you, face up defense. And then... And 
Number 39, Utopia. Face up attack. Bam. Activate the effect of Utopia rising from the graveyard, right? This is kind of unnecessary, but you know. I hope I'm not about to screw myself with what I'm about to do. Face up defense. I'm not, okay. Pull you out. He's pulling his cock out. And then with that... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Rank up Magic Zexal Force. That's a bad idea. This is also a bad idea, but it's... Fine. I'd rather do that for this. Just in case. Utopia. It was a nice run. However, you shall be changed to Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. With that, I pull this to the top of the deck. Lightning Blade. But that's not what matters. What matters is using this ability to now I detach Ascended Sage to attach Draconic Halberd. No, that's bad. Uh, I can't go back on that decision. It doesn't matter. And with that attachment, I now negate the ability of one of your cards. Battle phase? Hecking die! What is this? What the? And then Link Karibo makes it freaking zero damage. Oh! Why are you like this, bro? Why did you do this? Why did you do this? Now we're here for like 10 more years. Let me live. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when an opponent's monster declares attack, tribute this card, change that opponent's monster attack to zero until the end of this turn. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute one level one monster, special summon this card. Only use this effect of Link Karibo. I would prefer this thing stay in the graveyard. Go ahead, activate its stupid effect. I don't care if it does that to number 99. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it drops to zero. Don't continue attack. Main phase two! whoop de doo Yeah! Oh! End! What you gonna top deck? Gonna deck out before I do? <laughs> How many... How many cards does Strange have real quick? I have 40. Why do you have so many freaking cards? What the hell? Duel is still going, it sure is. Continue to attack to get rid of Link Rebo. This game will last another 10 minutes. Maybe. And then I activate this ability, and then your attack drops to zero. Unless you got something to stop that. Oh, wait. I can... I... Right. I could just... No, I'll save that for later. Why do you... Stop! Leave me alone! What's this? This card's name is become Skull Servant while in the graveyard. If a level 3 or lower monster you control would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, can discard this instead. If this card is sent to the graveyard, can add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Except white baking that are either skull servant. Yeah, okay, cool. You discarded another thing and another skull and another skull. Okay, you think you're discarding enough cards there, buddy? Main phase two. <sighs> 
Effect activation. Negate this jerk. You don't get your damage back. No siree. Oh wait, it's Jover? Okay, what was your plan? <clears throat> Link Karibo? Ah, uh, that would cause a problem. Attack position. You can stay in defense. Actually, wait, you can just go straight to... Face up attack. Number S39, Utopia the Lightning. What is this? This didn't save you, but cool. White Princess, you can send this card from your hand to your graveyard to all monsters currently on the field lose attack and defense equal to their own level slash rank times 300 until the end of this turn. Okay, yeah, this didn't save you. F you? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, right. You can't activate effects in response to Utopia the Lightning. I forgot about that. GG's, GG's. Jesus Christ. All right. Trashy, let's go. Damn it. You exist. Love my Skelly Boys. Understandable. Let's hope I don't break. Last duel of the day. Don't announce all of your cards so I can actually listen. <laughs> I only announce them while I'm playing them. I don't announce them when I get them. What's the play here? Let's see if you got... Do you have the thing? Thank God you don't. You can go back. Give me that. All right, you. Face up the fence. I summon Utopia Double. You don't kill me this turn, you will die. What the hell do you mean? Someone say lab? No, no one said labs. Hate labyrinths. Labyrinths suck. Actually, about to bring the labyrinth up in this. Uh, anyway. Double or nothing. Topia Dragnar. <clears throat> Give me that. Give me that. Summon Utopia Rising. Face up defense position. Activate its effect to bring back Utopia Double and face up defense position. I now activate Rank Up Magic Zexal Force. Change Utopia Rising to. Utopic Draconic Utopia Ray. Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. Be using lab murder him, trashy. If not, still murder him. Why am I always the bad guy, bro? What did I do? What have I done to you guys that makes you always want me to lose? First effect. CW Lightning Blade. Upon ultimate draconic utopia ray to activate its ability yet again to pull in ZW tornado bringer I'm 
then activate the rest of the cards I got in my hand. Alright, uh, oh, also, I almost forgot about this one. I always forget about this one. Face-up defense position, four. Number F, zero. Utopic Future Slash. N. You play as Ryle? Why is that a bad thing? What did I do? Hurry up, bro, all this for you to die? What do you- What? What? What do you mean? Man said, hurry up. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! I love Kaiju! Awesome! Kaiju are super fun to play against! What? What the hell? Add one level four or lower mods. Oh, that's the. It's just the. The boys. Call in the boys. What's the answer here? We were in battle phase. Now what? After you normal summon this, you contribute summon. Ah, uh, hello. What? What? Your monster is a light. What? Contribute to summon one level 7 or higher monster in face-up attack position during your main phase this turn. In addition to your normal summon set, you can only gain this effect once per turn. Why can't I steal his attack? This game is ass? What are you trying to do? That doesn't die. Special summon with the effect of Hippo Carnival on a related card. This token cannot be tributed. You cannot special summon monsters from extra deck while a Hippo token is in the monster zone. Okay, that's cool. I put you back in the deck for a reason. Another illiterate Yu-Gi-Oh player, GG's going next. What did you do? I don't understand. Trashy. <laughs> I'm afraid to activate an ability. I'm just gonna hit you. Forgot to read ZW Unicorn Spear? Oh my god, you... <laughs> well, ZW Unicorn- ZW Unicorn Spear only negates when the monster is attacking. But if you were trying to target Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray, then you would have needed to get rid of, um... ZW Tornado Bringer. Losing to mid. Oh my god. Chat, forgive me. Nah. I should one and done you right now. I really should. I'm gonna run away with that. You wanna fight again? Let's fight off stream. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Man! You insult me every time we fight. I get the one dub, and this is how you treat me? Nah, come back here? I don't need to. I got what I wanted. I got my dub. What reason have I to come back? We've already shown that I'm the better player. I'm the one that can read. Damn, Trashy didn't even get the set. <laughs> Spoken like a true as Ryle player, bruh. <laughs> oh. Okay, Trashy, I want you to know I, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't worry. But Trashy, what what happened? What were you trying to do? Is there a way to... hang on. I can't confirm your deck, shoot. Okay. Do not give this man the run back. <laughs> Damn, you didn't actually run away, recard it. I don't... I just... I don't feel right about actually just walking away from that. I really don't. Is 
It was all just a bit. It's his punishment for not reading. <laughs> not anymore. So basically, leeching the light allows me to steal the attack of a light monster. Okay. The current attack or its base attack? Almost respect you, bruh. When you fight in my Neos deck, never, because you're gonna use that st Yeah, I should have just walked away. You're right. You're right, Yu-Gi-Oh. You mean Neos' ass cheeks? <laughs> There's the one... Oh, wait, I'm thinking heroes. There's, like, an evil hero, I think, that has... It negates and destroys itself, and then it just comes back at the standby phase. Tokens, and that's it. That's all you got? Special summon three hippo tokens. Oh, that's cool, dude. Yeah, could I have bricked harder? Special summon three hippo tokens, beast type, earth, level one attack, zero, defense zero. Uh, cannot be tributed, cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck while a hippo token is in a monster zone. For the rest of this turn after this card resolves, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters for attacks except hippo tokens. So I'm assuming we both brick? I think so. There's nothing to freaking do here, like... I have literally nothing that I can play. <laughs> That's just instant karma. It seems so, dude. Don't even care anymore, but my hand is all kaiju. <laughs> It doesn't get better. It never gets better. Okay. All right, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I have to discard something now. Brick stalemate. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't know what to freaking do. There's nothing to do. I lost. Uh, it's over. I'm, I'm gonna pretend... What do I get rid of? I don't even know, man. You could be useful. You won't be useful. I'm getting rid of you. Rip double or nothing. What is this? This is... God telling me I should have been toxic. Alright, I won GG's. What? When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, your opponent sends one spell card from their deck to the graveyard. Huh? Battle phase. Then you kill your own token. Take a thousand damage. And you send a spell, one of your own spells to the graveyard, I see. I don't- how did you get this thing onto my side? She and Spy, target one face of monster you control, give control of it to your- Opponent until the end phase of this turn. Okay, I see. Jackpot seven? What is this? Really? What was that game? I don't know, dude. Interesting? <laughs> Uh, final one. Shoot. Steve, what? Did 
This is unpleasant. It's usable, though. That's not cool. Uh... Guess I don't need you, right? Give me your cards. Frick you, dude. Yeah. I said I don't want to do this. Ah! Wait, it's fine. Only thing worse would have been if he used Exodia. <laughs> Exodia is in the deck. Oh my. What about the final thing? The spell cards, spells and traps that all spell out final. Uh, you get out of here. This is a little bit whack. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is probably a bad idea. But is there a better idea? Not really. I. What else is there to do? I could do the other one, but that wouldn't get me anything. I have four win conditions in this deck. Whether I get them or not is up to the cards. Gotcha. I hope you summon... I hope you get all of them scrambled. Uh... Okay. Right. This is a really whack starting board. Or it's like semi-whack. But whatever. Wait, what am I doing? I like watching a child play with Legos. You're hilarious, ain't you? What the hell is this? When this card is activated, shuffle this card from the field into the deck. When this card is in your possession, is in your possession is sent to your graveyard. Right, Kaiju. Sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, banish this card. If three of your jackpot seven are currently banished and were all banished by this effect, you win the duel. Okay. Is this helping you? When you take 3k or more battle damage. Oh, that's something. My cards! No, dude. Uh, it's this garbage. Oh, that's funny. And then I draw out, huh? Question marks? Oh wait, what? They nerfed Necroface. I forgot. How did they nerf it? My bad, bro. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it? <laughs> what happened? Shuffle any number of cards from your hand to the deck, then draw that same number of cards. 
What do you mean they nerfed Necroface? Like, I know the idea of that, that deck. But... Oh, oh, cool. Special summon one perform pal hip hippo. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you sure? After you normal summon this card, you can tribute, summon one level 7 or higher monster in a face-up attack position during your main phase this turn. In addition to your normal summon set, you can only gain this effect once per turn. Like, they made him limited. I can only have two. Oh! Special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field in attack position by tributing one monster they control. If your opponent controls a kaiju monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. You can only control one kaiju monster once per turn. You can remove three kaiju counters from anywhere on the field. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects for the rest of this turn. Also, this card can make up to three attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn. That's only with the kaiju counters. Just attack me. We'll be here all day if we stall out. I mean, not much else I got to do. Manage the rest of my cards. Go ahead. Or not. Never mind. Not this thing again. End phase. <laughs> That's not gonna help me. Oh, switch him to attack position. Damn. Let me end this freaking game. Touch those. It's all banished! Ah, what's left in my deck? There's nothing. There's nothing left in my deck. Whatever. This sucks ass. My brother in Christ, stop stalling. All right, I believe in the... No, I'm actually confused as hell, why? Ooh, that's really funny, isn't it? Did, did I really just, you're, you're really doing this to me? Really? Couldn't activate both necro faces. Mm. Didn't you? It looked like you did. Not this thing again. This doesn't do anything, but why not?
Yeah! Banished everything but the right. What the hell you mean I can't attack face? Why can't I attack face? Oh, Grievous Super Agent Organism! No! Oh! Oh! I win GG's, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> Never seen play this bad before. I Honest to God, I don't know why I forgot that that would affect my stupid I can't get rid of my own trap, can I? Whatever this last card is... Damn. Lightning Storm. I have Jackpot 7 circulating, this is hilarious. It doesn't matter. I lost because I played Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. That's not fair. Uh, I don't know how you did that. Oh, wait, no, you did that because that's what those cards do. They banish most, mostly monsters, don't they? That's not... I messed myself up so hard. Ah, I forgot that this thing is a level 9, dude. Lost because you played a garbage deck, bruh. I didn't lose because of the garbage deck. I lost because I messed up. I messed up on my own card. Real quick, play that YouTube vid for me? Nope. I'll at least pull it up on my other monitor. Yuya, what the? Oh, this is something to do with one of the Yu-Gi-Oh's. Hey, can you like end your turn so I can lose? Strong man, Steven is dumb. Whatever those characters are, I cannot see them because they're just squares. Well, chat, we have 850 seconds. If you don't think I will wait this, all right, there you go. Turn change, no cards, I lose. I'm so mad at myself. Why did I play Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, dude? I, for I hate kaijus so much. Nah, give me the run back. Trashy, give me the run back. Give me the salty run back. Nope. What do you mean, nope? You can't decide that for him, Zvezda. No? Wow. Wow. That's messed up. I should have run away with my victory, but I chose not to. I respected you as a player. So I decided I was going to give you the next two games. But I request the salty run back and nothing. I will remember this. I will remember this. Damn, win quit. Yep. It's messed up. We agreed to first to two. I know. But I wanted a salty run back. Get good. That's messed up, bro. That's messed up. Learn your frame data, then challenge someone. I have my frame data. 
I'm so mad at myself, bro. <laughs> this, this, this card, this card, this card. You're my greatest ally, and this one time, my worst enemy. Oh wait, hold on. What's the card? What's the card that you were talking about, Trashy? Face something? Necro face. Necro face. If this card is normal summon, shuffle all banished cards into the deck. This game, this card gains 100 attack for each card shuffled into the main deck by this effect. This card is banished. Each player banishes five cards from the top of their entire from the top of their deck, or their entire deck if less than five. Necro face was bugged in that last game, by the way. Was it? Let's check the replay. Infernal Tempest didn't put it in the graveyard, and I drew it, so I'm mad. <laughs> How was that bug? Play Pokemon? Nope. Should have played better. You must defeat Shenlong to stand a chance. Why am I able to view from your perspective? So I do that. This is a weird feeling. Hold on. Tokyo Double... I hate Kaiju so much. Didn't do one of them, so I'm salty. Okay. Do all this for a good card. You to do this stupid nonsense where you tribute it. Kaiju. Do that. Banish a bunch of cards that are specifically monsters. Remove all monsters in each player's deck and gameplay and graveyard from play. Okay. Both Necro faces and then the third chain Was the virtual world something or other? Or wait. Move all monsters, by the way. Yeah, I already know that. The level seven, sorry, level three monster is normal special summon to your field while this is, well, this card is in your graveyard except during the damage step. You can special summon this card as a tuner, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, for the rest of this turn, you can only special summon level three, level slash rank three or higher monsters. If this card is banished, you can target one of your other banished cards, shuffle it into the deck, can only use each effect of virtual world he may yan yan once per turn. So you had to do that for one of the necro faces. That's the reason why only one went off. Only one got banished. Or no, both of them went off. Never mind. Why? Or unless does necro face banish ten cards? It banish, banishes five, right? Five. Five from the top of their deck. You banished ten cards somehow. What? What's the problem here? I don't understand. You did that, but ultimately it resulted in the last seven spell cards that I had in my deck, and then the last uh, eleven that you had in yours. Yeah, I don't know why it went back to the deck. It's not supposed to, usually. It's because of the thing. The other one that's... Why wouldn't it? It's because of this thing's effect. 
I get one of your other banished cards, shuffle it into the top. Yin-Yan? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's because of this thing. That's the only reason I can ex I can think of as to why that Necroface got shuffled back into the deck. But it says you can target one, which means you would have had to choose, right? Which makes me think, why would you choose a Necroface? Let's see, I only just added her to replace the third Necroface. Didn't read enough. Ah. And then, and then the part that I misplayed super hard, because I... I got all of my stall, which didn't matter, because none of that mattered. If I didn't autopilot into activating Grave of the Super Ancient, then... I would have won with the Kaiju that you forced me to use. Oh, none of these were actual threats. I guess I should have known that. And then you drew your necro face. Wait, hold on. This card is normal summon. Shuffle all banished cards into the deck. This card gains 100 attack for each card shuffled into the main deck by this effect. This card is banished. Each player vanishes five. Why? Wait, why didn't you just play this? Why didn't you just normal summon this card? Oh, I see. You would have only gotten... You wouldn't have had enough to beat the kaiju. And then you would have... You wouldn't have died to the bleed over, but it would have hurt you. Wasn't a normal summon. I know that that wasn't a normal summon. I'm just wondering why you didn't summon it normally. Wait, no, it already has a thousand two hundred attack. Hmm. You could have gotten rid of my kaiju. Would have had more than enough to beat the kaiju. Yeah. So then, why didn't you do that? Because you doing that left me with the possibility of playing the Raigeki that I did, and then I could have won. Just wanted to wait you out? Bruh. I feel like Kaiji right now. I feel like Kaiji so much right now. And you're freaking Hyodu. You left a gap, and I could have won if I had known, but I stepped on my own foot. Whatever, we're done. That's it. That's it. Frickin' Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway, I'm gonna look for someone to raid. And then I'm gonna wrap up the stream. Who do I send you guys toward? Sandy Loam at Sea is playing some Super Mario Galaxy. Send you guys to her. So, tomorrow is Tuesday, correct? Yes, tomorrow's Tuesday. So, you will see me back with. <clears throat> sorry. Some Final Fantasy. 13. That's right, the good one. The only good one, in fact. That's right, I said it. Uh, yeah. Tuesday, Final Fantasy 13. Wednesday, Mega Man Zero 2. Thursday, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Friday, Monster Hunter. Probably Generations Ultimate. Then Saturday, a fighting game. Don't know what fighting game. Might be Blaze Blue. Probably. I've been kind of wanting to play an anime fighter a little bit. Probably just go back to Blaze Blue. Why not? It's my default. It's usually my default. 
But yeah, if you guys got anything to say to me or anyone else who has decided to join, hit up the Discord below the stream. If you click the picture that says Discord, I'm gonna go cry a river because I should have won that fight versus Trashy. He messed up twice, but I messed up thrice. But oh well. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, or night, whatever time might be for you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.